start. Should be live. Okay. We should be live now. Uh, starting a few minutes early. So let me know if you can see stuff okay and if the audio is good. And I'm going to tweet this stream link out. Uh, okay. We are live. So today we're cleaning and building a uh, a system that a viewer sent in with the fan mail a while back. Patrick, if you want to walk through some of the basics, I'll, I'll get the tweets sent out and stuff. So, um, yeah, we, we do have a P.O. box, and uh, about a year ago we had people send in a bunch of old hardware that we were and are going to use to uh, decorate the office. Um, and some people, even though we asked for broken hardware, sent in um, some pretty nice fully functional hardware. Yes. Uh, and this, this was one of those items. A uh, viewer named Carrie sent this in without a note, um, but we're pretty sure it's fully functional. Um, this is a Striker 2 Extreme uh, Asus ROG board um, from 2008, I think. I think that's right. It's got a QX6850 Core 2 Extreme uh, in it. Uh, that's from 07. And then various water cooling fittings. Uh, one of the this board comes stock with uh, water cooling fittings over the 790i uh, Nvidia 790i chipset. Um, yeah, should be. And I'll move this too. Uh, so, I guess in moving this so we can see the system. Quick shout out to the sponsor for the stream, the X570 Aorus motherboard. So the X570 Master by Gigabyte is what we used for our standardized testing when Ryzen launched for the 3000 series. And it's I've got a link to it in the description if you want to pick that up. But um, it's a, a high-end X570 board for Ryzen 3000 series. We have put it under LN2 and everything, and it has no issues at all. So all right, now that we can see the system better, um, yeah, you're saying 6850, uh, there is a water block mm -hmm. on the chipset, which is kind of fun. Um, this is not distant from the era where Kane Pin was doing extreme overclocking where he had the uh, he had like the um, chipset LN2 pot that he made. Yeah. So let's Keegan, let's bring the shutter to one over one eighty to help it out a bit. We have a seven ninety i FTW as well that a viewer sent in. Um, Kingpin Kingpin broke the world record with that. Three D Mark six world record on that one. Um, but yeah, so we have some crucial ballistics, 1333 megahertz RAM. Um, we have a sound card that yes. ships with the board um, in a dedicated PCIe slot that is colored differently because you're supposed to use it with the sound card. Yes. Is um, this a, what was this? Is this a? It's just a, an LED, I think. Oh, it's an LED? Yeah, I'm pretty That's sure. Very advanced for, yeah. for the era. Well, this you didn't uh, find those just anywhere. There's also an LED, I believe, in the um, I/O panel, which <laughs> this is I the actual. kind of thing that like someone from like Asus or MSI or something's gonna see this stream uh -huh. and, and they're gonna be like, <laughs> people want this. An they IO. want this bag. Yeah, an LED in the I/O shield. That's a brilliant idea. It's gonna cycle. It'll be back for sure. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, did, I made sure not to throw that away, uh, even though we usually do that. Um, yeah. We also have an EK CPU block. Um, nothing really different about that one other than the amount of gunk that's built up inside of it. Um, that's part of why we're doing this, is we're going to clean out all of these, um, clean out everything, really, yeah. but uh, especially clean out the, the liquid cooling loop part of it, um, because there's a lot of sediment in here. Uh, that includes these two 560 Ti's with... Yeah, the water blocks on these are really impressive, honestly. When we, when we got them uh, in the initial mail opening stream, we commented on it too, but really heavy, like, serious copper. Yeah. Uh, just like I mean, most of their other modern heat blocks, or water blocks are the same way in the heat killer family. And we've got, there's a 2080 Ti one, right? Yeah, this is one we were, we were actually using on... Uh, a card. Yeah, so that's an example Example of what they look like uh, modern day, and they're really not that different. And, and these are, like, the other thing, too, the obvious thing, 
is these are 560. I like how we have floss on the table and we haven't given context yet. <laughs> these are 560 TIs, which are kind of uh, a bit odd to water cool to begin with, but it, I mean, you could bring it down to one slot if you wanted, which mm -hmm. is potentially beneficial. But it's not like it was a 580 or some high end card. Um, so that said, uh, oh, also it says 560, but it is a TI, right? Yeah. So. Uh, and that's the EVGA PCB, and this is uh, NVIDIA PCB. Okay, but I think so it was a from, reference. I think they're both from reference models. Yeah. Uh, reference basically. board. Um, and this bridge also came with it. We might use that, maybe not. Um, so yeah, that was everything in the box. Uh, like I said, no note or any explanation for any of that. Yeah. Yeah, cool stuff, though. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I guess we're going to at least clean this today and maybe try to assemble it, depending on how things go. Uh, and then a couple notes for this one. As usual, any of the super chats during the stream, we'll read those. So give us, we'll be, probably be on about a 30 minute delay for this one. Uh, and then we'll read all the super chats. And then also during the stream today, uh, the code expires at 11.59 PM Eastern, but there's a 10% discount code for the GN store. If you want to go to store.gamersnexus.net, you can pick up things like the toolkits or the shirts. Uh, mod mat, stuff like that, and uh, the mod mat on the table that we're working on, for example. And there's all, everything's 10% off if you use code GNSHIELD10 during the stream at checkout. Uh, all right, I like the look of that sound card, someone says. So, oh yeah, and we I'll, will use the sound card. Yeah. There's no, um, well, there is onboard audio, but it's optical and then whatever that is. Uh, there's no like normal. 3.5 millimeter right. onboard audio. Um, yes, so uh, uh, store orders also. I'll try and shout those out during the stream. Let's, um, I guess let's get started with, we've walked through most of the parts. Mm -hmm. uh, we have toothbrushes for cleaning. Jay is very big on recommending Crest 3D White. Unfortunately, the only thing I had in the free bag of toothbrush and toothpaste from the dentist was uh, this Colgate stuff. So we'll see if Jay's recommendation is significantly better. I have a suspicion that most toothpaste is the same, but um, and then I guess we can use the, the floss that it came with maybe for like. Yeah, you can straighten out these uh, aluminum fins that have bent. Oh, or yeah. just bend them more. Yeah, there That's you go. <laughs> Let's floss the, this is, everyone should do this. You should actually, you're supposed to floss your heat sinks pretty regularly, most people don't. Uh, at least once, at least once a month, you should be flossing your heat sinks. The uh, super chat came in. Gabriel Gray, twenty dollars. Enjoy your weekend. After the YouTube cut, this should get you like half a beer. They said. That's probably, probably accurate. <laughs> YouTube is definitely substantial. All right. Uh, you have the light over overhead. It's good. Overhead light. The uh, the color scheme is a little weird on this board. Um, it's got like a brown PCB with blue and white uh, PCIe slots, and then bare copper and anodized aluminum that's orange colored to match the <laughs> copper. Yes, it is uh, from before RGB era. So. Um, one strange aspect of this board is that they have these back plates on the uh, chipset with uh, on the North Ridge and South Ridge. Um, yeah, those are definitely not uh, <laughs> definitely not necessary, but yeah. it is interesting. They have uh, little fins on them for extra surface area, and then they don't actually contact anything. There's no thermal <laughs> pad. They're like a millimeter off of any board components. Um, That's mm, yeah. It's, it's not, not even great. making contact is just sad. The the back plates for these up here do, but um, there's also no. There aren't any little fins on them. <laughs> uh, what the hell even is this motherboard? Someone says. <laughs> um, it's cool. That's what it is. So yeah, it's the Asus Striker 2 Extreme, mm -hmm. and I'm assuming fairly high end, but I did for the time, but I did not look into the specs on it. Yeah, this uh, this CPU that's in it, the Core 2 Extreme was a, I looked it up on Arc, it was like uh, 
thousand dollar MSRP. What is new? Oh, was it really? Yeah. That CPU was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do, what, do you know what the core count is? It's <laughs> four. Okay. Eight threads or no? No, and this is okay. Then. <laughs> uh, four uh, cores, four threads. It's like just over three gigahertz, I think. Maybe three gigahertz. Yeah. I think that is correct. Uh, 1999 called. No, it's <laughs> it's about 10 years later than that. But uh, 2008 Nor called. Yeah, 2008. Nori, good to see you. Nori uh, sent in a super chat, five dollars. Where is episode two of Snowflake attacking inanimate objects? Keep up the good work. Uh, P.S. Zeta is hosting a community gaming night soon. Cool. So yeah, Zeta in the Patreon Discord and Nori from the Patreon Discord. Get the I didn't. Wasn't aware of the community gaming night. I guess my invitation got lost in the mail. Uh, <laughs> but Snowflake uh, episode two of attacking inanimate objects can be arranged. I guess I uploaded one of those to the GN Steve side channel. If anyone wants to see that, uh, Andreas Sheriff five dollars. Where is Joe's toolkit? Poor guy had to settle for regular tools yesterday, uh, and Jay still hates me. <laughs> and Andreas says, um, "I'll get Joe one. He w I wanted to bring him up here this weekend, but." We were uncertain of how the hurricane would impact travel. His flight probably would have been affected. So we are likely doing next weekend instead. And I'll give him one then, and we'll do some uh, 3900X and 5700X TO overclocking with Alan too. And the last one I'll read for now, Front Seat Racing. Uh, 20 Swedish Kroner said hello from Sim Racing Sweden. Hello to Sim Racing Sweden. Uh, OK, so. Beetle Adventure Racing. What? Beetle Adventure. Beetle Adventure Racing, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have to confess I already took this off uh, once, which is why there's no thermal paste here. Um, the There's thermal pads up here. We're probably going to leave those alone. Um, they seem yeah. fine. Uh, we don't really want to replace those, but we'll put new paste on here, uh, clean this out, and then you probably won't be able to see it until we get it disassembled, but there is definitely some gunk inside the... Uh, the water cooled part. Yes, I have actually not seen it yet, but yeah, we it haven't sounded it. bad. Can this motherboard run Crisis? Probably. It was, yeah, it was the right era. It's definitely the right era. I don't know how SLI did in Crisis off the top of my head, but with SLI 560 Ti's, uh, it would have been reasonably powerful. So I guess I'll pull this water block. And we'll see how bad this is, if at all. This is potentially now the future of overclocking, someone says. This, yeah. Uh, we'll see if we can. Uh, we we're talking about setting a world record on this. Um, turns out nobody has run Cinebench R20 uh, on this particular CPU on That's the true. bot yet. So we could set a record. As long as nobody listening beats us to the punch. I, anyone listening would also have to probably reassemble the system, so I think we're good. <laughs> Try and preserve the thermal pads there. All right, so there's the top side. We can clean all that off. I don't. I actually never opened a 560 Ti before, so I wasn't familiar with how the die looks. We'll clean that off in a moment. Uh, looks like it may have a heat spreader on it. Uh, okay. Can you grab a sheet of um, shop towel? Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, so here's our 20 pounds of copper on that board. Someone says, yeah, it's probably accurate. It's fucking floss. He's getting my way. Uh, yes, it is quite a bit of copper. Synth Psi, $2. Can this motherboard run in crisis? I guess I got that one. The answer is probably yes. Um, OK, so let's just blast that. It's probably in the way of the camera. 560 Ti. Yeah, like I said, I haven't, I actually, I wasn't really working on GPUs in this generation. I had gotten the 580. That was the first sample video card I ever got. It was super high end, obviously at the time, and uh, that was 
I actually got that for uh, 3D Vision. NVIDIA sent 3D Vision over as the first review product I ever got from them. But I did not open any of the cards from that gen. So, GF114400A1. Same uh, naming scheme as modern day. Yeah. I'm not sure we're going to find a bit that will get this screw out without stripping it, but. I can do it if you want. Oh, you can try. <laughs> Uh, which one? The one on the, uh, this? Yeah. Bottom right. Let's see. If not, we can, uh, clean it in place. <laughs> well, it's, um, it's not, <laughs> it's supposed to be Phillips sized. And it is no longer. Yeah. Uh, I need a smaller screwdriver, maybe. The uh, I have good luck with this one normally. EK block is signif significantly easier to disassemble. I might be able to get that. It's almost like you weren't ever supposed to take it apart. <laughs> yeah. Do we know, is this officially part of the motherboard, this block? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They sold it with it. Um, you, I'm not sure if you necessarily had to use liquid cooling with it. Um, in the manual, they said that if you used liquid cooling on the CPU, um, there are fans, like scroll cage fans, that they sold, uh, or maybe they came with the board, that would clip onto these uh, heat sinks here. OK. Um, so just blower fans that would blow straight down into those heat sinks. Gotcha. Well, the screw's out. Uh, where's your other one? Let's put this with the other one. Mm -hmm. Now what? Does it uh, separate? That was, that was all my ideas there. Uh, had you separated it before or no? No, I haven't. Oh. If it's welded, then... It might not separate. I don't know. Done. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, someone says, wow, I think it's safe to say that we've come a long way since the 40, 40 nanometer Fermi architecture. Yes, definitely. Uh, Bearded Hardware, a.k.a. Joe Staponzi in chat, says tater tots, which I'm not sure the context of, but it's making me hungry. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, have, I have so many GN toolkits on the table right now. Let's oh, put boy. this one over here. That's gross. What? It's like he can zoom in on that. Oh, yeah, that's definitely not cooling anything right now. Can you get a good angle? That is okay. very gunked up. Let's uh, flip it to this side so you can see better. So Check that's it. why we have the toothbrushes out, if anybody was still wondering. Nice. That's a good shot, Keegan. Beautiful. <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing you've ever filmed. <laughs> Uh, did it come with a max to our drive, hard drive? I don't know. Uh, like, obviously, we didn't get this new in box. Uh, so I'm kind of surprised we got the sound card with it. Yes, the sound card is probably actually usable still. Yeah. Uh, I got an order from Travis in Colorado, who, Travis, first order of the stream, picked up a two tone shirt, GM two tone shirt and a cobalt blue uh, pint glass that we have on the store. Thank you for picking those up, the cobalt blue glass with the gold rim. It's around here somewhere, I guess. It's over in the other set, I guess. Thank you for picking that up, Travis. And like I said, if you uh, place your orders on the store today with code GNCHILL10, you will, one, uh, waive your right to ever call us a shill, because you will be an official GNCHILL. Nice. And then two, uh, you'll get 10% off of any order on the store today until the uh, end of the day. All right, so classic PC hardware is the topic today. Um, How unpleasant do you think that is to listen to through uh, headphones? Uh, probably not great. <laughs> we actually finally bought compressed air. If you talk while you're doing it, then it, it won't hurt. <laughs> or you could just not and let them suffer. <laughs> See how many people are screaming in the comments. <laughs> uh, why is Joe stop talking about food? <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> He's like, 
Tater tots, onion rings. I don't know what. It's Joe, we need to. Uh, I need to book your flight for next weekend. It shouldn't be. I think you would have had trouble getting here with. Uh, with the hurricane. The mild hurricane. Mild right. hurricane for us. Rain for us. Yeah. I'm going to put these screws back in. I, I don't think we're going to separate that block. So just so I won't lose these. And then we can, I don't know, maybe pour some rubbing alcohol in there or something. Into the, oh, into the, yeah. Yeah, see if we can loosen some of that up. We could put it in the uh, ultrasonic and <laughs> definitely not turn it on during the stream. He's deafen everybody. We got an ultrasonic cleaner and can't can't show it today, but um, same thing we showed with the uh, in the cane pen lab tour, and it's very effective. We used it to clean off the Vaseline off of our uh, X570 master that we used for our overclocking stream. Also, that's the sponsor for the stream today. If you want to click the link below for them, but. Uh, yeah, cleaned it out, ran it through the ultrasonic for probably a combined total of maybe almost an hour, heated it to 55 degrees, and just ran distilled water. And um, we don't know if the board still works, but it is very clean. <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen, haven't tested to see if it works yet. Had a lot of water. A uh, whole lot of water stuck in the uh, pins when I cleaned it out earlier. Yeah. We might have to do the uh, Durbauer method eventually. I'm definitely not putting it in the dishwasher. <laughs> that food goes into their f food bearing objects go into. If you want to be a real extreme overclocker, you have to have a dedicated <laughs> motherboard dishwasher. <laughs> Can you imagine like he's he uh, gets home, opens the dishwasher, and puts away a load of motherboards. <laughs> <laughs> just pulls the dishwasher rack out, and it's just like 20 motherboards all <laughs> sparkling and clean. <laughs> Someone says, Keegan, a good thing you're not in Alabama. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he would have been slammed by that hurricane. I'll leave that one there. <laughs> uh, okay, I can pull the top off of this too, I guess, to get the rest of that off. Are using tap water? If you're asking about the uh, ultrasonic, no, we're using distilled water for that. Uh, Joe recommended against it. And now Joe is using all caps and chat talking about ultrasonic toothbrushes. <laughs> uh, He's got to get the tater tots out. Yeah, got to get the tater tots out of his teeth. All right, so we got a super chat. J.W. Dickinson, uh, you're the one who, are you not the one who asked for the... Um, the beanie? I was just thinking about that the other day, how I need to get that started. Uh, we're not signing anything during the stream, but we do have the GN Shield 10 discount code for 10% off to answer your question. And uh, we might sign something with Joe or something like that, I don't know, in the coming weeks. Doctor Who, 860 and $5, $5. Do you like L-I-E-K tater tots? What? Something kicked in, and I was wondering yeah. Uh, say tater tots, tater tots, they said. Leviathan Prim, $2. Did it come with a Mac store or hard drive? Uh, no, we got your question though. Jennifer Roger, $2. For the tater, why is this a thing? For the tater tots. Why has this become the, th I mean, if you're all going to give me money to make a meme out of tater tots, I'm okay with that. Especially because I'm probably going to spend them on some later today. <laughs> uh, P.S. Nori is a troll. Mild Mad Nerd, two dollars. Take a cue from Jay and call it Gunk Works. I would not. I think Jay did actually use that term, didn't he? It's probably accurate. Whiskey Omega, five dollars. Money to keep Patrick's fingers from going green this time. <laughs> Alex, uh, Norwegian Kroner, twenty-two. No message. Thank you. Two more. I'll read. Gene Nordstrom, DKK, twenty-two. Is that Danish Kroner? Uh, keep up the good work. Thank you. And uh, Inderjeet Singh, five dollars. After seeing that block, will we see GN branded hazmat suits on the site? Uh, no present plans, but maybe one day. Um, do we still have that funnel for yes. liquid cooling? Yes, it's in one of the yellow bins. Okay. We'll check again in a minute. It's uh, 
on the side near the server. Okay. So see if we get get these off and does anybody have loud complaints about pouring uh, isopropyl alcohol into a copper? <laughs> no, I mean, it'll be fine. It's not gonna hurt it. Is that thin like the welded on there or what? Uh, yeah, either that or cemented on there enough that I don't think I'm gonna lever it off. Okay. Oh, I missed a screw. <laughs> so that thing probably doesn't need to come off. All right, the heat killer plate is removed and actually not terrible. So there is some stuff in there. For this one, should I just take the nickel plate off and then leave the block on? Uh, you can definitely do that, unless okay. we want to repaste it. I don't know that I especially want to repaste it. It's probably been in, oh, all right, we can it's repaste probably been in it. use we for years. <laughs> uh, That's do the lazy way. Oh, let me get a better shot of that. There you go. So that one's not too bad, actually, but it is worth cleaning out. Uh, and I guess we'll just do this manually, even though we've got an ultrasonic cleaner that should do a good job. I think scrubbing it out of the fins will probably be a bit more effective and more camera friendly. Yeah, unless everybody wants to hear oh, what the God. ultrasonic cleaner sounds like. When Ultrasound it's through like a microphone is <laughs> terrible. It is really bad. I think I actually had a clip of it in, uh, in the King Pin tour. I'm also worried about like, like muscle memory with the toothbrush and toothpaste. After scrubbing the, the block, I wanna put toothpaste on the brush and then <laughs> instinctively brush my teeth with it after it's all nasty. So you just pry it off once you get the... Uh... Uh, pull it off, yeah. Okay. It'll come off cleanly. It's seven or something screws. Yeah, it looks like you got them all. Okay. And I'll run this underwater at the sink, I guess, in a bit. That's nice. We do need the Derbauer dishwasher. Tore one of the pads, but it'll be fine. Yeah, the, yeah, that's fine. These aren't that bad. What was the CPU block situation? Oh, that was the really nasty yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and I think the, um, the smaller block is gonna be pretty bad as well, but. Got an order from John in Tennessee. Picked up a GN logo shirt. Thank you. That's the uh, original, the OG shirt. An order from Zachary in Indiana, looks like. Picked up a GN toolkit. Thank you for grabbing. Oh, a signed one. Thank you very much. And a mod mat as well. Thank you for the big order. Uh, as always, if, any, if you or anyone else needs has any questions about the orders, needs help, anything like that, you can email support at gamersnexus.net. And then Patrick from Ireland picked up a GB artifacting shirt and also a teardown. Thank you for picking that up. Um, what's chat saying? I gotta check normal chat. Uh, if the microphone is actually picking up the ultrasound wavelengths, it should be pretty easy to filter out from the audio. Yes, I mean, I'm we need in, in, a, in a live stream, <laughs> like, really easy. Uh, it's bad. It's just like, I think it just, it, I think it's more of an interference problem. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I don't know that it's a sound issue. This cleaned really well. I don't know if it's a sound issue as much as it is like an interference issue. I'm just going to blast this in the sink. I'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> I really want to pour cleaner in that uh, block, but. I don't know where the funnel is. Mute my mic. You can entertain them for a second. I gotta turn the water on. This uh, it's probably gonna be the same level of dirty as the other block was, but we shall see. Hair flip was sexy. What? <laughs> a chat comment? Yeah. No, that was just me. <laughs> Okay, that is actually very clean. Uh, let's clean out the, um, I guess, I mean, there's not really a lot of point to 
there's some gunk in there, but not much. So mm -hmm. I'll just scrub that a little bit. The uh, cleaner, or not cleaner, um, coolant they were using was purple, evidently. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I see some, I was seeing some like dark gray, I guess that maybe from the purple coolant. Yeah, the EK block is definitely very purple. I put that on the block instead of on the brush, that way I don't brush my teeth with it. Uh, let's see, when will the GN Teardown Kit come with thermal paste and a toothbrush? Uh, I actually did consider <laughs> coupling something like that with it, but cost was high enough as is because we would have had to go to an actual toothbrush factory. And if you tell them you want toothbrushes, they're like, okay, cool, minimum order quantity is 100,000 units because, like, otherwise, why would they bother? I mean, yeah. you, can get, you can get fewer, you can get smaller you can accounts, but it's so not worth it. So then customer price goes up and, like, not many people clean water blocks. And honestly, like, yeah, I could make a branded toothbrush, but you get them for free from your dentist every six months anyway. So what's the point? <laughs> There's no point. You could sign those. Yeah, that's right. We'll sign it. I'll have to do a legal disclaimer about, like, this is intended for use on copper, not on teeth. It seems pretty gross. Is it really? Oh, yeah, that's much worse. I wonder if that was the first one on the loop. Maybe. Like if it was catching everything? Mm hmm This seems to be working really well, though. Take this. It's like detailing a car, except uh, there's like even less of a point, I guess. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'll let you, or you've got one, actually, if you want to. Okay, so I need to clean that out. Uh, let's see. What chats do we have? Just putting water on it? Yeah, I put, I ran under the sink. Oh, okay. To clean out the CRC that I, so I, first I brushed out a bit of the, br the block. Mm -hmm. You might want to just blast that with CRC into the sink, like into the drain, and then mm -hmm. run water through it. Don't hit it, well, yeah, don't hit it too hard because it'll spray it everywhere, so uh, <laughs> try to contain it so it doesn't get over the dishes. <laughs> All right. Um, what are the... Why? Someone said check your Twitter, yo, and I went there and we have uh, what? Oh, yeah. I just won't do it anymore. <laughs> uh, someone on Twitter tweeted a photo of a bag of tater tots at us. I feel like this is a meme I've missed today, but if it's becoming a thing now, then I guess I'm okay with that. Um, someone says, how long did they not clean this? We don't know. We don't know the full story. Be I think we don't know any story behind this, right? Nope. There was no not note. No note. So this came in for our mail opening stream a while ago. And we've done some work with the parts that you all sent in. So thank you for sending those in. We did some revisits, stuff like that. Um, and now we're getting into some of the like cooler complete system stuff. We actually worked with an SGI system that Ian from SGI Depot sent in. Mm -hmm. That's a site, right? SGI Depot, is that right? Yes. SGI it's Depot. It's like dot something.uk. But SGI Depot, let's see. Let's give him a shout out. SGIDepot.co.uk, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we worked on his system, did a video on that, and now we're just cleaning out the this system that someone sent in because it was a pretty nice high-end system. Um, what 5700X T-Series is the best? We're still reviewing them all, but we've reviewed like three partner models so far, I think, and you can check the Gigabyte one for the most recent on that. Uh, let's see. So Sid lives nice. 199. How about a tater tot GN shirt or stuffed toy? That's man, that's some sharp turnaround from Joe saying tater tots 15 minutes ago to people <laughs> demanding shirts. <laughs> He's a natural born celebrity. I'm gonna mute my mic so you can you can tell chat about what you're working on. Well, I'm just wiping off this back plate right now. We'll do that for the other one too. Um, these were at one time very shiny mirror finish backplates, but by the time we're done with them, 
They might be a little bit scuffed up. We actually, uh, uh, I guess I should do some more work cleaning this up. Okay. This one's actually pretty good now. This, okay, cool. This one was easy though, not much. So we have two water blocks and that one's pretty clean. I guess I'll show the top side of it. Look at that, not bad. I like that all the rough machining is on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> all all, can all see the really it. clean machining is on the outside. <laughs> So there's the cleaned water block. That's actually pretty nice. Heat Killer makes good, uh, it's um, Water Cool is the company. They make good stuff with the Heat Killer series in general. Anyway, I haven't tested all of it, but pretty clean now. Uh, okay, so how's chat doing? I still want a Puck Gamers Nexus shirt. That's an old one. <coughs> um, method, Method, $2, check your Twitter. That was the one I saw. Sean Thomas, $5. Thank you so much for what you and the game do. Love Bearded Hardware, Linus. You have D-Tag Brian at Tag Cast City. I have a life now. <laughs> Cheers. Well, you're welcome. I can't speak for uh, any of the others except for Bearded Hardware when I say that man is one hell of a slacker. Never seen someone slack so hard in my life. <laughs> They're in our gang. Linus is in our gang. Linus is in our gang. <laughs> it's, it's our gang and he's <laughs> yeah. a part of it. It's not Linus's game. It's ours. <laughs> uh, Bazinga X, $5. They call me Tater Salad. Let's see how well you know your comedians. Do you know that one, Keegan? Keegan knows it's British really comedians for sure. But no, that's one of the, like, the Jeff Foxworthy guys. Yeah, one of the, yeah. <laughs> I don't, sorry, I don't know the comedians that well. Fun spoiler, $5. Canada has Mexa fries, which are loaded nachos style tater tots. They're super good taco time. Why? Why is this like all of the comments? Like, literally all of them. <laughs> Bearded hardware says so slacking. Uh, okay, so that's pretty clean. I guess I'll clean this off. Was this off yours or mine? That's off yours. Okay. Well, that's kind of gross. We'll do that one. Uh, this, the lesson here is don't be afraid to take apart your blocks and clean them. Yeah, it's just obviously that's the biggest downside of open loop is that it does kind of suck to because then you have to drain it and everything. Yeah, but I mean, if you're going to go to the trouble of disassembling your system and oh yeah, putting it in the shed and then mailing it to Amherst <laughs> Nexus ten years later, then. Uh, Although in that case, it's gotten us content, so okay yeah. with it. In that case, don't clean it. Don't clean it. If you're going to send it to us, don't clean it. <laughs> we might need new batteries for that. I don't, is it flickering? It went up. Oh, oh yeah, down. batteries. They should be plugged in over there. If not, they're in the, in the camera bag. I don't know why I'm trying to dry off the inside of a liquid cooling loop. <laughs> it's counterproductive. I guess it is. I did the same thing, though. <laughs> Part of the like weird neurotic, everything has to be super clean, even though it's. I mean, I don't, there's not particularly a point to do it, but no. I, uh, well, it's, it's tap water; it's contaminated. I'm gonna hit this with water again. We need to use this distilled water that we bought from Harris Teeter. It's like scientifically pure. I do like how we have an ultrasonic cleaner sitting behind the camera that could do all of this. Yeah, well, it's also full of Vaseline right now, so <laughs> who knows how that would go. Yes, and it, it smells like it too. Ran that ultrasonic cleaner the first time on the X570 Master after I filled it with Vaseline for, um, someone says Ron White, I guess, is that comedian? Yeah, that's the... <laughs> Some of the ones you thought. Yep. Uh, yeah, it ran it, it got a lot of Vaseline off, but not all of it, because there's so much on there, and then like the whole area near the cleaner smelled like Vaseline that had melted for a while. 
I don't know anything about machining, but that probably looks really cool to somebody. <laughs> this is super clean. Probably a lot of time goes in every one of these blocks. I forget the numbers. They told me the machine time for a block, and it is not short. Like that's yeah. why they're so expensive. It's that's something like I think a lot of people don't necessarily think about why is the stuff expensive and. The obvious answers are low production volume. Um, I mean, you're not, you know, they're not making a ton of these blocks. Low production volume, expensive materials, a lot of materials, but the real cost is the machine time. It's kind of like <clears throat> anything else you make in a factory, like cases and stuff like that. Uh, all the machine time that it takes to make each product is time that could be spent making another product. So. You kind of go for where's where's the volume and where's the margin, uh, and I don't remember the numbers on these. I, actually, AlphaCool or um, AquaTuning, one of those companies, has a video out where they do show some of their factory and they talk about how long each block spends in the machines, and um, gives you a more perspective for how much it really costs to make. When can we expect Andrew's switch cooler review? You know, I think he. I think he forgot to bring that home. Because I think that might have been the review, <laughs> is that he left it here on the shelf. Yes. I think he's super interested in it. <laughs> that may have been his review. I hope everybody's super happy with what they see me doing right now. Do you want to explain it for people? Uh, this is called, I can't find our funnel. So I'm using a, um, what is this, from a thermal sake liquid cooling kit? Uh, I think so. Bottle. Um, using that to pour alcohol in there. So, maybe that's a stupid idea, but I mean it should be fine. You all had a chance to stop me and you didn't. So <laughs> I also might not have read the message if they didn't. Yeah. Uh, well, that means it never happens. But I mean, it's just rubbing alcohol. Uh, funnel. I'll get the funnel. Nice. We can't. Um, well, maybe we can pry this apart, but I don't really want to damage it. So we are just going to fill it with a solvent and hope that solves our problem. <laughs> he was using it in here. I forgot. Okay. Well, it's too late now. Uh, I guess I'll just rinse this under the sink, actually. Yeah. Vinegar and water would clean that small block really well. That's true, probably. But we don't have any vinegar. Yeah. And the store's probably sold out because of all that moderate rain we got, along with all the milk. But I did joke that I looked like uh, so the hurricane as it as it hit this area. If people don't know, was basically rain. It was nothing. And uh, went to the grocery store to pick up eight gallons of water for our ultrasonic cleaning tank. I'm pretty sure everyone thought I was a hurricane prepper who like went in the middle of the most moderate rain ever. Because uh, it was not many people just show up and buy eight one gallon jugs of water. I think it was like 80 cents each though. It's a good deal. Uh, What a waste of alcohol. Don't pour it in a cool block. Pour it in a rum and add some ice cubes. Don't we'll make think wine. you should drink. Yeah. Do I not know. drink IPA. I don't know about other countries, but uh, in America, they have to legally put ingredients in there that are poison oh, so yeah. that you can't drink it. Yeah. Right. Because I'm assuming it's a tax thing, because otherwise they'd have to tax it as alcohol. Oh, uh, that's probably part of it. It's might not about be, public safety, might it's be about a, making money. Yeah. <laughs> so this block is very clean now. I'm pretty happy with this one. This one wasn't that bad, though. Yours was pretty bad. You got yours where you yeah. want it. Um, That's really, I mean, like, the time to clean these is not bad at all. Yeah, this is uh, nothing really stained or permanently damaged here just, uh, or corroded. Just a bunch of buildup of silt from... Or, or sediment from the uh, coolant that they were using. Yeah. Uh, Jarl Peterson in chat, 
Yo, I just ordered your crystal statue with the LED base. Thank you. Um, can you please sign it for me? Unfortunately, those don't sign very well because they're glass. And uh, I did do it briefly, but um, we don't really have a process. Like, I basically have someone who ships the orders, and I'm not involved in that process. So if it's something that's marked as autographs, then you'll get one because uh, I basically uh, go sign sign a few of those things at a time. But we don't really have a process for me to intercept the order. Sorry. Also, it doesn't sign very well anyway. It's I mean, it's glass, so it would rub off. Uh, someone, Derm, what was that name? Derm Horse, Tater Tots. This is like the EVGA, you know the EVGA stupid hot dog meme? Oh, no. You made it happen. You uh, finally made it happen. <laughs> EVGA has this hot dog thing in their streams. I don't know why it's a thing. Like, Jacob will get me on their stream at PAX or something, and uh, <laughs> he'll, like, bring in the nastiest hot dog I've ever seen, dump ketchup and everything else on it. Like, it might as well be in a bowl. And then ask if I want to do a hot dog teardown. And every time I ruin his hopes and dreams and those of the chat and say, no, <laughs> that thing's disgusting. Uh, this is what I need. Let me get some super chats. So we got, where is it? I'm honestly impressed with how well this cleaned up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I didn't think it would be that quick to get all the stuff off of there. So we got, I got fun spoiler. Grizzer Mocked, $2. Sonic, really good tater tots <laughs> if there's one near you. I'm pretty sure there is. I've never been to Sonic in my life. Yeah, uh, maybe 15 or 20 minutes away or something down near <laughs> yeah. Cookout, I think, vaguely. Yeah, in that area. <laughs> Someone's going to, like, go to the closest to Sonic and try, try and find <laughs> us after this stream. Uh, J.W. Dickinson, $5. Yes, I'm the one who's been harassing you with a picture of a beanie and random tweets so I can buy one. Oh, and Tater Tot. It's like the new 7980XE meme. Uh, <laughs> All right. Someone asked me what CPU this is because I cannot remember... QX 6850 for more yeah. than five minutes at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm going to repaste call, this, I guess. I'm going to call this clean. That one, oh, I didn't actually see the, uh, did you show camera? Because that one was super nasty, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, maybe not surgically clean, but <laughs> clean enough by my standards. You put that on your resume when you apply to host hospitals. <laughs> I get things mostly clean. <laughs> well, Patrick, we'd like to have a performance review with you. <laughs> See recently that you left a few implements inside of a patient. <laughs> really, it's really you hard never know to, uh, when you'll need. Uh, never know when you'll need one of those. Apparently, it's really hard to get doctors to wash their hands. Oh. So you go through medical school for eight years and you think you're too good to <laughs> get sick from Oof. washing your hands? Sorry to any doctors. Yeah, any I was going to say that's going to get a response. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's pretty um, pretty stained, this one. They make more money than me, they can deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Very stained, but it's clean. All right, cool. Let me put that back on. Where's the PCB? Oh. Uh, is that, do the pads match up? Is that your? This one is mine. Okay, yeah. cool. I need to clean right. my. So. Uh, oh, they have an OHS on the GPU. Yes. Yeah, I was looking at that. When did they stop doing that? Did we? I don't remember. Um, I don't, I did take apart 700 series cards and I can't remember what the die or what the GP looks like. Makes these pretty good candidates for liquid cooling then. Make Don't sure really the milling to. machine marks have a cross cut proving it's actually flat. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. 
That sounds like useful advice, but I'm actually not familiar enough with machine terminology. Uh, milling cross cut. Uh, should you rip software? Nope, that did not help. All this is about. Let's learn together. All this <laughs> is about wood. Um, we're not super fussed about the exact fitment. Yeah, level of the <laughs> of a 560 Ti cooling block, but that is good advice for. I'm assuming it's good advice for uh, those 2080 Ti blocks they saw maybe. Yeah. Oh, people are asking what CPU. Yeah, Core 2 Extreme 68, QX 6850. Oh, don't humor them. <laughs> are you not going to deal with the GPU IHS? No. You won't get any good cooling if you don't rip down the, rip off the 10-year-old Tim. <laughs> deal it and solder the IHS to a CPU. No, we're not going to do that today. Uh, all right, let me, I guess, get something done here, and I'll put this back on. Did you already, what paste are we using? Do we care? Uh, I don't Should think we, just we use care. Cheap, cheap paste. Um, no. <laughs> uh, can grab. I don't want to use Thermal Grizzly because it'll take Roman twelve months to send me another one. Um, Dang. So we could do. Do you want to use cheap gray or cheap gold? Cheap gray. Gray is worse, but it's yeah, not. Yeah, but it doesn't turn my fingers green. It's not made of copper, so <laughs> it might be better. I mean, is it also, is it worse by the numbers printed on the tube? It's worse by the numbers printed on the tube. So I guess, you know, I should show these because probably some people haven't seen the video. I'll bring them over. So we went to uh, the SEGE market. <laughs> In Shenzhen, we have a pretty cool video documenting the trip. Talks about some of the history of the area. You should search our channel for. Um, you just type in uh, SEG Market, three letters SEG Market, and you'll find the video where we talk about this trip and give you some history on it, stuff like that. But basically, I wanted to buy one of these, and they were like. Uh, we don't deal in quantities that small. It's more of a wholesale place. So you kind of go buy a bunch of stuff. You might rebrand it if you're a company trying to sell it. This bag was, to my memory, about $5. And uh, then I said, do you have anything better? And she said, this one. So I think all of these were like 10 to $15 total for all of it. Um, I don't know, it's just like, well, we have to buy a lot anyway. So we might as well really go overboard. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to use the uh, cheap gray one. It is not good, but these blocks are, I don't know, that's whatever, it doesn't matter. They are, oh, it's also very fussy. They're going to be overkill for the GPU cooling anyway. Also, we're not leaving the system assembled like permanently. That's what you think? Patrick's going to take it home and use it as his personal system. I have a friend that uses a Core 2 Extreme. You use a, uh, you upgraded to a 47? I, I used a 4790K. From a 46? Yeah. If anyone's like, oh my god, that's too much thermal paste, I'd encourage you to watch our now almost 1 million view video <laughs> on Humble break. that comment. <laughs> because you're wrong. I used like a whole tube of thermal grizzly. And uh, you know what? We'll just we'll just empty this tube on it. <laughs> Let's see, <laughs> it's fine. How much even is this? A gram, maybe. I care about this yeah, system. Too much. <laughs> that chip doesn't look clean. Uh, uh, the IHS is pretty clean. All right. Let's remount this. <laughs> it's not enough. I think we need another tube on there. Just to really trigger the Let's get pan flute. trigger the comments. You know what? You know what? We're gonna do it. What about air bubbles? See, please. <laughs> That's what I wanted saying. to turn on. 
<laughs> It'll turn on. I don't think it's conductive. It might be. That would be bad. Uh, doesn't say the component. <laughs> It's like one of those Looney Tunes cartoons. Let's switch it without me noticing. Keep going. That is really not a lot of paste in that tube. They knew what you were gonna do. <laughs> this one had less than the other one. So yes, there is gonna be a lot of old paste left on me. SMDs. The comments. Think of the children. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Drown it, damn it. Oh, oops. <laughs> I love the comments about too much paste because they're so easy to upset. Let me get some of that. Now, I really hope this isn't conductive because there are SMDs on these. Uh. It should be fine. The gold stuff is conductive, I think. So this was yours. Now that one you can just manually spread if you want. That actually is a lot of paste. <laughs> it's all, all right, so when I do it, it's a lot of paste. When you do it, it's fine. Uh, let's remount. Does it go off center? Yes. Off center, okay, got it. All right, I didn't put the, uh, <laughs> didn't put this back on at first. Oh no, I can go on from the top, all right, cool. I didn't take that off mine. Yeah. Was it dirty when you took? Um, it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. I thought it had to come off originally, but it didn't. I am not gonna bother with it then. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't bother. I'm just trying to read the comments while doing this. I saw some comments scroll by about humans are 70% water, and I'm not sure what the reference was to, but I figured I'd just go ahead and remind everyone to stay hydrated. Take the opportunity. Keegan's picking up. That's like, that's going to dehydrate you. Keegan's, Keegan's picking up a can, can, of, on can of poison. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the camera starts getting really wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a straight <laughs> So hopefully this is the last time we ever take this uh, heat sink off because this one in particular, the screw heads are stripped. I suspect they came that way. We from might want to replace factory. some of the screws. The that, one here? that one. Oh, is it already back in? That's oh, fine, I guess. These are, um... Come on, man. Thread. They come with cool. springs on them so that they're not fully torqued down. Oh, yeah. Are those Hex? Or Alan, I mean? <laughs> uh, no, they started life, as Philip said. <laughs> um, but... I don't have any reason to think that the person that sent this in ever took this off, and they were I would pretty wallered out, as they say already, when we <laughs> got them. I mean, yeah, like, this was probably disassembled uh, to be sent or was in a box of parts, and you know, why, why clean it? It was probably went through life without being cleaned because, uh, as we saw, it was bad enough to warrant cleaning, but maybe not bad enough if you're on the edge of upgrading your system anyway. Yeah. Um, I should mention for everybody that's going to get mad uh, when we put the RAM in, the um, slots closest to the CPU are oh, the yeah. ones that you're supposed to use. They are the correct slots, yeah. Uh, a couple of store orders and super chats I need to do. Christopher from Colorado, another one in Colorado, picked up a teal logo shirt. Thank you for that. We have an order from uh, Steven in North Carolina. I actually picked up a, a mod mat. Thank you for picking that up. One from 
James in Wisconsin grabbed a blue, uh, cobalt blue teardown beer glass. And Jason in Oklahoma used the GN, did you use it? Yep. Use the GN Shill 10 code, which you can use during the stream today for 10% off the order to pick up a mod mat and a, a medium mod mat, actually, and one of the tool kits. Let's see a couple more I'll shout out here quickly. Uh, Nicholas from Ontario grabbed the GPU artifacting shirt. Thank you, Nicholas. Uh, Jarl, I'm going to guess that's pronounced. Jarl from uh, Norway. I think I probably said Jarl earlier. Jarl, maybe. Picked up a teardown crystal statue. Thank you. And then three more. You played Skyrim, right? Yes. So, yeah, the, that's what they're called in Skyrim, right? Yeah. The Jarls. Uh, James from New Jersey grabbed a teal logo shirt, graph logo shirt, and a toolkit. Thank you. And then last two to read for now. Uh, Miguel in Texas grabbed a toolkit, and Joel in New York grabbed a mod mat and a beer glass. Thank you for all the support. Uh, okay, so what are you working on? You're resealing that? Yeah. For some reason on streams, I'm compelled to do things in the least efficient possible way. Um, <laughs> but I realized... Why, what, I, was, what was efficient about it? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Well, I realized if I attach all this, then I can just take this off and put the back plate on like a normal person, oh, rather than trying okay. to arrange it underneath the board. Right. Let's see, super chats while we're here. Uh, <laughs> throw more dots. Five dollars. Oh, no, it's pulled up. Throw cl pour cleaner over everything. Embrace the chaos. We've done it before. Yeah. Uh, VC Jester, two dollars. What model toothbrush are you using? Uh, actually, yeah. actually, I was using a Dollar Shave Club toothbrush, which I know because that was sent in for a sponsorship. So uh, they never thought they had crossover with what we actually do. Yes. But here we are using their products. Yeah, there is in fact crossover. Should tell them, hey, we want to do a campaign for your. <laughs> for your uh, oral hygiene products. They'll be really excited about it, and then they'll send it in, and the ad will be us cleaning water blocks. <laughs> uh, I don't think that was the intended <laughs> use. They do toothpaste too, right? Yes. This is sounding like a smart idea. They will get, uh, they'll probably see like record sales, highest success out of any ad they've ever run. Which way is this thing oriented on yours? Um, is it what our cool logo is readable, I guess, like that? It's, uh, yeah, 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 yes, okay. Yeah. Is this, this is all Alan. You know, some people have teeth, uh -oh. but everybody has liquid cooling parts that need That is true. Cleaning. Yeah, your baby doesn't need a toothbrush, but it might if you need it to clean your water blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has water cooling parts. All right. Is this is all this back together. Where'd that washer go? Uh, plastic one? Yeah. No, no, metal one, actually. Uh, mild man nerd. Two dollars. Uh, can we cool the GPU with mouthwash? The... Faz? 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 Fantastic. Two dollars. Thank you for your hard work and in-depth analysis. Period, space, taters. It's a thing. No. It's become the new thing. That should have been our, di I should just change the discount code to that for the stream. Taters. <laughs> taters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, machina, ma ma machina, machina, san, five dollars. About to do my first build in years. Would you, the all-powerful tech Jesus, be willing to give it your blessing? Sure. Uh, I don't. I don't know. How do you do that? Blessed be thy you, build. You get like one of those whisks where you like flick the water on it or something. <laughs> and that's how pieces yeah, do it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, is it water cold build? Kevin Wise, ten dollars. Thank you. No message. The bad gamer, two dollars. I overclocked my taters and got five gigahertz on all dots. Fantastic, $2. GN branded tater dots on the merch store. 
started the stream hungry. Uh, Leviathan Bram two dollars. Did you quote bleed for this thing? No, but I'm glad someone remembers that video. The the motherboard. The what are they owned by? Vice is it Vice? I think it's Vice. Yes. The uh, I bled for this thing article they did. PC that if for people who weren't watching our channel during that era, basically. Motherboard, which is, I believe, now part of Vice or Vox, but I'm pretty sure it's Vice, posted an article saying, um, PC building's hard, don't do it. I bled for this thing, was what they said. And we did a response video. Actually. And then we cut ourselves on PC I, ports multiple times. That was actually Some accidental. Uh, oh, like during that video, though, I did actually cut myself on a, <laughs> on a fan header, I think. I put my hand down really hard on it, and cut myself, and so that I bled for this thing clip I did in that video was real, and we didn't intend to do that. <laughs> that was legitimate. <laughs> so I should tighten down this plate pretty hard. Washer on the floor, yeah. That's Is it? no, probably not. That's just what they spotted it. That's just what, what chat does. Did it to Linus too. <laughs> uh, Start telling you there, there's a wasp in the room behind you. <laughs> uh, Mustangs by Matt, ten dollars. Hey, Patrick's. I think I convinced <laughs> LTT to do a Highlander part two. Nice. Is that something you'd be interested in doing? Also, did you get the Iron Wolf yet? Uh, ask Jen coming back. Thanks for the content. So something I'd be interested in doing. I mean, sh yeah, sure, I'll definitely join Linus if they're doing it. I'm not going to host it though. That sounds like a lot of work for not the kind of stuff we normally do. <laughs> but uh, I'll join it if he does it. And then, did you get the Iron Wolf yet? Probably. I need to go to the PO box. And uh, ask Jen coming back. I've actually been thinking about doing an episode for probably the last two weeks for the first time in a couple months. I, I was thinking about trying to get one together. So. Yes, just don't know when exactly. Uh, Jordan Dunning, $2. A tip of the hat to you fine gentlemen. Thank you. Uh, the Mighty Voice, $2. I got Jacob to give away a CLC for 2,000 uh, exclamation hot dogs in chat, I guess. Nice. <laughs> Sounds like Jacob. Scott Burgess. Uh, New Zealand, four ninety nine. Thank you. Is water cooling a 2080 Ti worth it? That depends. Um, mostly for like, you want the system to look cool or you want uh, lower noise levels because it's water, so you can run the fan slower and achieve the same thing or, or better still. So for those reasons, yes. For overclocking, not, I mean, you're not going to get like a ton out of it, so not particularly, but definitely for the other reasons. I mean, those coolers are typically triple slot. They're super fat they now. They ship yeah. with the cards, so cutting it down to single slot is... That's a big benefit too. Yeah. yeah, single slot's really nice actually. So that is a uh, a benefit. This one's ready when you are. I'm not ready. I'm, oh, I didn't put two screws back in. That should probably go in. I got some kind of audio interference. Okay, is it just a tick? It's like a ping. Uh, mm. one. But it, okay, like a hiss or. I, like a ping, like a okay. metallic ping. Don't know. Uh, if it keeps going, let me know, I guess. I'm the one that has the damaged mic cord. Oh, yeah. So. It could be the mic cord if it happens again, if it's, like, moving around. All right. So that needs the um, the plates on it. We need to figure out which one's going to go in first slot. But Okay. And then this is already done and tight. Uh, yeah, pretty tight. Are I the gaskets all good on these? Did you look at the gasket in that? Uh... They exist. Yeah, uh, I guess okay. we'll find out whether they're good. Yeah, um, we'll see. I, I lined it up. We'll see. We'll just use the thermal pads that are already on here. Yeah. They seemed okay. I tore the corner off one of them, but otherwise. Yeah, it's fine. It's better than the MSI Evoke. All right. So what else? Anything else need to be cleaned out of all this stuff? Um, no, I guess I could blast out this a little bit, but <laughs> nobody's going to be able to hear the audio that comes out of it. So that's nobody also will know. true. <laughs> kind of like, 
kind of like a lot of audiophile equipment <laughs> where no one's quite sure if they hear a difference, but they spent more money so they've convinced themselves they do. I remember Andrew Hahn from EVGA, we did that tour of his like really expensive audio room and he made it a point to tell me he tried all kinds of cables. He tried like the $2,000 cables. He tried all that stuff, uh, $10,000 cables. Yeah, this is an, it's an audio room. We have, like I said, we have a video of it on the channel. It's pretty cool if you haven't seen it. And it's got Western Electric stuff, um, some of it from over 100 years ago. Uh, really, really cool setup. Uh, the sound comes out of two giant horns. They're 14 feet tall, I think. From that's from the me. yeah that's from yeah. the company they're like 14 foot feet tall and he tried all these different audio cables I think he ended up just making his own like you know EVJ CEO he's well they have the hardware for it you know he's yeah but also like this is a guy who's clearly got uh, a lot of stuff on his plate and he said you know what? I'm just gonna make my cables and they're just wound. I think for the ones he was using they just uh, twisted pair, you know, copper wire type stuff. Mm -hmm. And he said it sounded the same as the multi-thousand dollar cables. I and believe he, that. And he paid however many dollars for the copper, and that was it. Well, that's... Probably, probably just pulled it out of their own factory, really. Even on the consumer end, that's pretty true, usually. Yes. Um, pick out it again. Oh, same pin? Yeah. Okay. Do you know which uh, ear it came out of? Left, so you can figure out which one of us is on that channel. Left is probably channel one. This chat talking about it. Are people screaming and crying? A. A. Yeah. Mine is A. Ah. I would suspect it's your mic problem. more, but I'm not positive channel one's on the left. Hmm. I can change cables, mic cables. Anyone, uh, anyone in chat hear the uh, metal pin noise come through that Keegan says he heard? Let's see. I don't see any complaints about it yet. Um, so do we want to use a, uh, a bridge for these cards? Um, yeah, let me grab it. Okay. Uh, Mikkel Christensen just ordered a GN two-tone shirt shipping to Copenhagen. Thank you. Okay. Mm, don't see any complaints. They're saying no. It's fine, mm -hmm. Steve. Leave it. <laughs> and someone else says it did happen. I heard it a few times. <laughs> no. There's more no's than yeses. Someone says it's barely noticeable. Okay, well... If it gets bad, let us know. We'll leave it alone then. Keegan's going insane. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let me find this to see if I can find that. Uh, what are these? Oh, beep. Okay. I saw the beeping sucks, but I realized that's from the door. Uh, so we're getting a, a bridge to link these GPUs if we're assuming that since the heat killer fittings are mostly the same, uh, now as they were 10 years ago, um, that we'll be able to use a modern GPU bridge to connect these. This is what I have. I've never used it before. So the only question is if it matches this slot spacing, because that's yes. what we're going to have to use. That is the question. Maybe. <laughs> it's a solid maybe. But I also... I have not used this. I don't know if there's anything special we have to do or if it just works. I don't know what that's for either. Uh, support for one of the PCBs? Oh, yeah, maybe. Second one, probably. So let's see if the slot spacing will line up. These are the, the fun old school SLI. Um, PCIe slots where you have to wedge your finger in there and flip the little lever. Yeah. <clears throat> no, that's not going to work. But it, it, it replaces these, right? Oh. Like you take these off and then... I don't know about that. 
Because it has those mounting holes right there. So then would that work? That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess that does line up with the thing. Uh, maybe. So... No, it's not the right length, I think, right? Because it would go there. Yeah, and then this would go... So then we can, we can <laughs> push them together until it snaps yeah. in the socket. So Yeah, I think you're right, though. I oh, think no. Th okay. Oh, yeah, they had two sets, so you can mount it there or there. Yeah, that's yeah, where that's, the other That doesn't is. solve our problem, yeah, because yeah. then it's closer or farther, I mean. Uh, we could do the... I think maybe, like... I don't know, if I push it a little harder, it'll, it'll go. <laughs> All right, yeah, so we'll do... Uh, uh, I guess we'll just do tubes. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. So. Yeah, it replaces the old ones. They're confirming, which does make sense, but also it's still not the right size, unfortunately. All right. Um, wish SLI was still good. Yeah. So does Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess you can start kind of figuring out some of that or install the CPU block or something, and I'll take some super chats okay. to catch up a bit on those. Running kind of behind on those. Um, so Just we got uh, Big Al, 268, $5. Some context, pass mark scores, QX6850 is 3632, okay? Phenom 2X4945 is 3653. And an i5-750, 2.76 gigahertz, is 36.89. That makes these all very similar then. Uh, CC, $2. Use a whole bag of paste. OK. I'm on it. It's going to take a while. Should we switch to the gold one? <laughs> if we want to make sure it doesn't turn on, yes. Uh, Ralph Oliver Schaumann, 549. Tater top paste, they're all paste. So grease, basically. You're asking for grease. Oh, you are using the gold one. Yeah. People are going to yell at me no matter how I apply this. No, they won't, because I've already, I've already done the shut up your Ron discussion. So, yeah. <laughs> What's the um, die placement like I on think these? I do more. I would do a little more. <laughs> die placement's in the middle. I do little dots on each corner so you get full coverage. but. Uh, John Tracy, $10. Will Gamers Nexus join float plane at some point? No current plans. The Pickle Soup, $2. Just figured I would. Well, thank you. Broxis, $5. Gotta go. Have fun and enjoy a cheer wine for me. We have a very food... So first of all, if you're not from... <laughs> Keegan, do you want to tell the joke or should I? You don't, you don't want the credit? Are you sure? Yes. Uh, is it, do you know why they call it cheer wine? Is that how it starts? I'm trying to make me do it. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know why they call it cheer wine, it's because it's made right cheer. Mm -hmm. No, just leave it silent as long as possible after that. <laughs> uh, cheer wine's really good though. If you don't have it near you, it's just uh, cherry Dr. Pepper yeah. that's extremely bad for you. It's like 50 grams of sugar in a small can. But it's made. Right cheer. But it is made right cheer. <laughs> How many comments are we going to get about that? Way, they're saying not enough paste. Uh, you've successfully gotten people to stop yeah, I've gotten having legitimate the... complaints about paste. Yes, yeah, so now they're going the other way. What's the best thermal compound for a Ryzen chip? It really doesn't. I mean, it's one, it doesn't matter if it's Ryzen or not, it's just thermal compound. Um, two, their pastes are made for different reasons. So uh, if you're going sub-zero, like liquid nitrogen, you need a, uh, something like um, cane pen or cryo knot paste, something that can tolerate that kind of extreme cold. If you're doing water cooling, you might something more like a hydro knot or uh, Arctic MX4 is still really popular these days, stuff like that. It really doesn't matter too much. but. He didn't even use 50 grams of paste. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. There's no way for these screws to bottom out, so I'm just going to tighten them until I feel good about myself and then leave it alone. <laughs> uh, 
I'm assuming I'm doing this the right way. Keegan, if I wasn't, people would yell at me. Everyone really likes your joke. Keegan gives a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, use liquid paste for the coolant. We have enough of it. All right, super chats. Um, get a couple of these, and then I'll do some more. There's not actually. We can catch up completely to the end of these. Uh, Dan Daniel, OWO, two dollars. What do you think about an RX five seventy? About RX five seventy direct at direct X. What do you think about an RX five seventy direct X? I am not sure. I understand the question. Uh, so if you mean what do I think about an RX five seventy, like the video card, maybe I don't know if you copy. Maybe I'm missing something, but if you no, that's not copy pasted because it's, there's a typo on it. Uh, if you're talking about the RX five seventy. I haven't checked the prices in the last maybe two months, but it was actually a legitimately very good deal a couple months ago when I looked at it. Uh, if you're looking for like cheap card that actually is more more like mid-range, almost performance. I don't know. Mid-range is kind of variable how you define it, but uh, yeah, it's like $200 card performance from a year ago because it's a lot cheaper now. Um, so I don't really have a problem with it. Joseph Holder, two dollars. Dude, something shiny fell in between you two. Nope. Charles Mondo, five dollars. <laughs> Bought a shirt over a year ago. Still have not received it. Why didn't you email us? We have a support page. Like, it's it might have been lost by the shipping company. Uh, it definitely shipped because we have a really really refined shipping process. Um, so maybe lost or something. Email support at gamersnexus.net. Like seriously, if anyone ever has any product problems at all, like. This isn't a massive company. This is, I'm not even one step away from the products because I'm making them. Like, I'm the one who specs them out and everything. So, obviously, I want everyone to get something that's up to our quality standards and also receive it. So, if you didn't receive it, it might be a shipping issue. Contact support at gamersnexus.net with your, um, your uh, receipt when you ordered it. And if you still have it, we can look up the tracking number as well, but we can also track it by your receipt. And if it's, I mean, if it didn't get delivered, we'll make sure it gets delivered. Like that's, that's the number one priority of shipping something. So uh, if you didn't get it, email support and Did we, they pay money to, was that a? Yeah, it was a super yeah, chat. Just, just email support. Yeah. You don't need um, to pay us to. But <laughs> yes, thank you for telling me, like I'm glad you didn't just sit there wondering where it is, because uh, I, that, I hate that the most if I don't know someone like is unhappy with the product or didn't get it or something. I want to take care of that. So you can always email support and we'll take care of it. Um, so anyway. Chat's right. The washer is on the floor. The washer is on the floor. No. Where? Now Keegan's trolling. Keegan's not in like, so we can oh, edit yeah. out the part where nice. he said chat was right. Cut out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they liked my can joke. Can we, uh, yeah. Can we edit this video later and remove the, uh, remove the part where you said chat's right? Yes. We'll, we'll email our YouTube rep and ask them to change it. Uh, <laughs> trying to catch up on some of the chat stuff. We're, uh... Don't forget, don't forget your wireless anti-static wrist strap for building PCs. That live strong. We're both wearing them. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, this is actually an anti-static wrist strap. That's what this is. People wonder, but that's what it is. It's uh, grounding me into the cosmos of space. <laughs> God. <laughs> Nothing like putting down a two-pound copper block and then hearing something sliding in the, <laughs> <laughs> at the edge of your hearing. Uh, any? I'm trying to see if I need to catch up any comments here. Someone's saying yes. Uh, they want more thermal paste. Everyone's very disappointed you didn't use more. I'm sorry. Uh, I think we're. Yep, there it is. Chat is right. Tater tots. Why? Did that actually come from something, or was it seriously just Joe? <laughs> Is that all this was? What does Joe have against you? 
He's done this. I think he just wanted tater tots, and now it's become a thing. <laughs> I thought the chat was a scrub hub order. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Joe, yeah. I don't know if you can hear Tegan, but he said Joe thought the chat was his scrub hub order. <laughs> All right. Uh, <coughs> so let's. I think we're good on. I, I was just making sure everything's good in chat. We're good there. Um, okay, so this can be relocated. And do we want to, where's the card that? Uh, so I put the fittings on opposite sides, so. Should I add the washer back in? Oh. It's just on the top, but I don't know whose card, or which, it was my card, I don't know which one was the one I worked on. Uh -oh. But if you want to pick up the toolkits we're using, you can go to store.gamersnexus.net and... There's also quite a few extra screws over here. Oh, this one's got both of them. Or it's got one. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, you can't see them. So it's that one. And uh, use code GNSHIELD10 on the store to get a 10% discount during the stream. Uh, John Doe. 40, I think, Russian Russian rubles, is it? Um, sent something in Russian that I can't read. <laughs> Sorry. It's like, it looks kind of like 3A. Oh, no, there's some, some normal characters, like, for English in there. O-P-O-B-O. -O -O. I'm trying to figure out if it's just, like, no, actually, maybe those aren't. Maybe they're just, I don't know what it says. Uh, the next one. John Doe. Oh, okay. $40 again. Steve, Moscow is watching you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry that you had to send that twice because I couldn't read the first one. Uh, Glenn Halls, 81. Hashtag ROR. $2. The 33 is for the win. What is the... Did we miss something? What was the 33? Were we talking about something with the number 33 in it? That was sent like... 15 minutes ago? I don't know. Sorry. I'm failing at Super Chats right now. Now, oh, what's your daily daily carry? What do you keep in your pockets? Uh, a transmitter and a wallet and keys and a phone. Is that exciting enough for you? Uh-oh. Can I get Patrick's it all in gonna, one? Like, pull out a gun or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, you know what you sh you're supposed to do during these, during the... Like, what do you carry with you every day? Oh, there you go. There you go. There's the, there's, there's what we want to see. It's the Verge's pocket knife with hopefully a Phillips head screwdriver. I still can't believe he said that. Hopefully a Phillips there's head. There's no Phillips head screwdriver on here. Is there really not? There's a. So we can't build a computer with it then? Flat head with a rusty saw. You I just, found this you buried use that to cut your arm off. If I you found this buried in the dirt uh, at some point, which is why it's uh, recently. No, I was in a long time ago. High school or something. <laughs> why would I spend money on a pocket knife when I could just find one in the dirt? That's true. That's a very good point. You're bringing I guess up. That is the difference between like <laughs> I found like an actual Swiss Army knife in the dirt from the 80s and it's fine. Yeah. And the one that you bought new that isn't really a Swiss Army knife. Which one? I didn't. The one with the busted hinges on it. It's like. Oh, I didn't buy that. I probably, that's probably, that's probably 25 years old. <laughs> uh, the one that you always insult when we, uh, <laughs> yeah. when it's time to use a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, so which is every time. So we have both of these ready. Um, did you put the screws in? No, I didn't put the screws in. <laughs> Why were those off? Oh, I never finished because I was reading Super Chats. Uh, catwalks, don't over tighten the acrylic EK blocks. Tight will crack the blocks with thermal expansion. Snug, not tight. I think we're pretty good there. Um, I didn't go crazy on it. Actually, mediocre overclocking. Very nice. $5. Is Patrick 2 on camera? Also, can we expect some Thin One, Thin Two references only with Patrick's One, Two, and Three? Can we get some fan art, anyone, please? Well, as we said last time, everyone who works here is named Patrick, except for Patrick. 
because everyone thinks that Andrew's Patrick. People think that Ryan and Keegan are Patrick, and uh, also someone named Dan works here apparently. Were you with? Who was? Was it you it was and Ryan? Ryan. <laughs> yeah. I've been called Patrick. Yeah. Three times. I think someone thought Ryan's name was Dan or something. <laughs> Mild Man Nerd, two dollars. Steve, what are your thoughts on the upcoming? Your thoughts. What are your thoughts on the upcoming Ice Lake? Uh, I don't have a lot of thoughts on it. I don't know. It's like we're paying attention to it, obviously, but until I actually have a physical product in hand, I don't really have any thoughts on how it's going to turn out. Um, we just, we need to test it, and mobile stuff. I don't, honestly just don't really care about that much. Like, I don't think we'll even cover it. I don't think we'll cover Intel Mobile, any of that, because we just we don't really cover laptops. Ben Grogan, five dollars. We have had the sixty eighty super refreshes now. Do you have any thoughts on if a an eighty Ti super is really likely? I don't know. I have not heard any rumors about it. I don't follow rumors, so I don't know if anyone's posted them. But I haven't heard any from in the industry. I should suspect no, unless. Nvidia has given a reason by AMD to make one. Would, that would be my guess. Uh, Corey Kearney, last one to read for now, two dollars. Could you do a review of Tim included with coolers? So reviewing thermal paste or testing it is like is functionally impossible unless you have the right setup for it. Um, testing it in a real world bench is not going to give you accurate numbers basically ever. It's not trustworthy. Uh, the way to do it would be with a synthetic platform. We may have an update on that someday, but basically no, um, because showing thermal paste differences is so minor that you have all the variables of just how is it spread, uh, screw tension, you know, hitting the screw the same order every time. Um, the age of the paste is a problem too. There's not really much of a curing time, but there is a life, like a shelf life of thermal compound. Uh, also, run to run variation. Thermal paste will be slightly different each time. So, that's, yeah, that's all that's problems. But mostly just it's not, you don't have enough accuracy. Okay, so we're doing this on the, on the table, which will make this a lot easier. Um, I'll put all the thermal paste away, I guess. Okay. Should we just throw them on the floor? With all the other syringes, all <laughs> the thermal paste syringes. Why are all these syringes on the floor? What is that? What? Where? Oh yeah. <laughs> you doing a pump and res? Yeah. Um, this one's just a res. I might have to grab a different one. In a minute, um, but we can get some tubes cut shortly, <clears throat> and then do a test without power. Um, yes, leak test. Yeah. Okay. So I'll see if I can tubes steal a different reservoir. What do you need? A uh, Reservoir, is that what you said? Why isn't there a cap on the rubbing alcohol? Uh, okay, what's chat saying? God, why are these, why are these comments? Uh, Checking the comments. I clicked a notification. What are we doing? Yes, good question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not sure. If someone can tell us, that'd be great. We received this, except for these parts Patrick's just brought out, received the core components on this bench in the mail a couple months ago. We opened it with one of our mail opening streams. Came from a viewer named Carrie, mm -hmm. but we don't have a note with it. Uh, so it's. It was a pretty high-end system. I mean, the water cooling here was not cheap. It's really nice copper blocks and everything. Um, uh, QX6850 CPU, Core 2 Extreme, 
do, do you know what the capacity is on the RAM? Uh, I think those are four gig sticks each. Um, so like eight gigs of RAM is a DDR3, I guess? Yeah. And then a uh, Asus Striker 2 Extreme motherboard, of course. Got to have Extreme on there. So this was sent into us. We're cleaning it, and we're going to see if it still works. Um, we're not 100% positive because, you know, it was mailed to us, so might not, but it is clean, though. Yeah. And... Uh, it's probably a little small for our purposes, but... Um, that is definitely... <laughs> yeah. But whatever. Well, um, what, I mean, what else do we have in storage right now for a uh, pump, pump I could, res on this? I could probably get one out, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we're just trying to um, get one pre -assembled. Do we want to face these? Oh, not really, I guess. We're not going to... Yeah, I was thinking about it. Um, I think the, the tubing will be annoying to deal with. Yeah. Let me see if we have any QDCs also, just okay. to make it easier. Yeah, um, ideally we would use that uh, hard bridge for these cards, but the PCIe spacing doesn't quite agree with it. Yes, sir, we're going to have to run tubes, and because this isn't a permanent system anyway, we can just make it kind of messy, see if it works. Yeah. We do have QDCs. I guess think about if you want to put any of these in line. Uh, that part's very important in the sound card. Oh, the touch, like that could have, that's nearly close enough. That's that could fine. bridge components. Yeah, it's got a sticker on it. <laughs> <laughs> Stickers are non conductive, that's science. Uh, so if you want to use QDCs, we have a few of them. I don't know where the other half of these are. No, there's one. So quick disconnects um, are super nice for uh, oops, for loop assembly because it'll allow us to easily take stuff apart if we want to actually put it in a system, in a case, I mean. Hmm. Um, so yeah, these are just EKQDCs, but these are actually rebranded. They're actually not. They're not rebranded, are they? They literally have the company's name on it. Yeah. EK sells them, but it's, uh, I guess, CPC, Colder. I don't know if these are the medical ones, but there's like medical grade quick disconnects that most of the water cooling companies either rebrand or just sell directly and call it their own without rebranding it physically. They work really well, though, um, but EK uh, sells, sells those. So those are Colder brand actual. Uh, I think medical grade, I'm not sure. All right. So, people do want the sound card. And where's the cat? The cat is not on the set. Uh, okay. No, the, they took out the sound card. People really want the sound card, Patrick. Can we go full retro and get a stream of the OG Pentiums with a pencil? <laughs> OC, pencil let, uh, let OC. Yeah, I was gonna say thermal takes got some we could use. Oh, this one's been used, it looks like. Yeah. But there's QDC moments. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. I didn't use it. No, I think I remember what I used this for. Okay. It's definitely let me clean this out. You, that too. you can. I'll replace this sound card for everybody that was upset. <laughs> you can entertain chat for a minute. It, uh, it might short the uh, graphics card, but it's acceptable risk, I guess. Um, this is out of an EK, like full system water cooling kit, but it's a little small for the amount of water that we're going to be putting into this radiator. Um, it'll be a lot easier if we have a big reservoir to cycle water through. So it needs to be replaced. That is not great. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, thank you. Is medical great? They're all paste thin. I don't know. I feel like uh, there's like Every time I buy something, I learn there's a medical medical grade Aircraft version of grade. it. 
aircraft. aircraft yeah. yeah, that's actually like medical grade makes sense because there's certain things you don't want in like a hospital, but. Aircraft grade aluminum is the stupidest marketing term of all time. Like Corsair did this for their keyboards for a long time. They're like, our keyboards have aircraft grade aluminum in it. Aircrafts have like a lot of different types of aluminum in them, but one of them is 6061, which is like the most prevalent type of aluminum you could get for the most, like almost every bike frame that's made of aluminum uses 6061 or 7075. Technically, those bikes have aircraft grade aluminum. Doesn't make them special. Like Keegan's Florida. laughing at me because I didn't realize there's water in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, aircraft grade aluminum keyboards. Uh, okay, let's actually do something, I guess. Oh. So, um, so is the inlet at the top here? Do we have a? We can just mount one to each side. Oh, is there not? Oh yeah, okay. I guess it is. Is it in the box? The cap? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. It was part of that Intel NUC build we did. So you just stick a hose on the top. That's true. It doesn't need a. What about this? We put this on it. Is it Does the it same? Have a hole in it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Is I think it's the same, same threading. Right? Cool. Just don't knock that one over. We're all about solving problems here at Gamers Nexus. <laughs> Yeah, by taking parts from a lot of different things. So at the end of the day, we don't know what anything went to. Yeah. Um, where's the tubing? Beautiful. We... <coughs> so what's the plan? What's the loop order? <laughs> You're the boss. That's not what I want to hear. Uh, so I guess we can do pump res. Yeah, that'll fit. Okay, cool. Pump res hitting the radiator makes sense to me. Hitting the, I guess for distance reasons, we can just go to the GPUs first. Just so we don't have to run a bunch of hoses everywhere. Okay. Think like pump res to radiator, radiator to GPU, and then GPU out, GPU in, GPU out. Oh, there's a stupid chipset block. I forgot about the chipset block. No, that's block. the cool part. <laughs> uh, Where's uh, all the open loop stuff? Yeah. What stuff? The bin of open loop parts. Right there. Okay. There's other stuff Perfect. in the storage room. Um, GPU out, and then I guess uh, that chipset's going to be really annoying. I think I'm just going to go to the CPU, and then to the chipset. <laughs> I feel like it needs to be dual loop, like GPU loop and CPU loop. No. I'm not digging out another pump. <laughs> what? I'm not digging out another pump. <laughs> yeah. No, the pump's fine. It's the, yeah. Um, I guess we'll just do like this. I don't know if we have. We should have enough tubing, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let's get this over here. Keep everything as short as possible. And I need a, yep, need that. And we'll see if this tubing all kinks on the fittings. Yeah, so we're just going for, see if it turns on right now. So. Uh, this is not going to be a well-designed loop. <laughs> it's okay. We can go in here. So scissors. <clears throat> we had to return our uh, tube cutters to Richie. Yeah, I should buy some, but he. 
Definitely spoiled me with those. I like them. Actually, can you grab the knife instead? That's not going to cut it. Literally. <coughs> it's a collection of sharp objects. Or this. Uh, knife. <laughs> okay. Wow, these are very resilient tubes. What the hell? There it goes. So you want to walk people, why don't you, for people who have joined more recently, update everyone on like what this system is. Yeah, so um, this is a system that was sent in by a viewer a while ago. Um, it is a Striker 2 Extreme ASUS ROG board. Um, it comes with integrated liquid cooling on the chipset, and uh, it was mailed to us with this EK block on the CPU, which is a QX6850 um, Core 2 Extreme uh, with this 1333 megahertz RAM and these two 560 Ti's with uh, water cool heat killer blocks on them. Yes. Uh, and also a lot of sediment and stuff inside the water cooling parts, which we cleaned out over the past few I months. I hope the person who sent this sees the stream. <laughs> the video cards are visible in the thumbnail, so it should be, you know, pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. All right, there's that one. We're going to need more tubing for sure. So, just run this into a GPU, I guess. Mm -hmm. And we can have those facing each other as well if we want to, but um, uh, I just figured like, it would be easier on the bench like I this. I think it's going to be easier to run just longer hoses and be sloppier with everything. Mm -hmm. I can't actually, is that threaded? I can't really see it. That looks like it might need to be down more, right? Do you have to? Yes, I know, that's fine. Okay, can you thread that one? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let me check Super Chats. Give chat your tater tot story. I literally don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, I don't know where this came from. Why so much work for such outdated components? I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> much more direct than that. I like, <laughs> do you, have you ever tried to, um, what is it called, uh, have fun? <laughs> and if so, why did you waste your time doing it? Is I guess the question. It's the same when people say, like, what's the point of Alan 2 overclocking? Like, I don't know. Because you, it's so much fun. You yeah. probably play you probably play video games. There's no real point in playing video games either. Like, you're not they're fun. You're not actually accomplishing anything. It's all pointless. So this has just as much point as those two. <laughs> Do you have any uh, opinions on in and out? For the GPU, um, that's probably in. And okay. This is out. All right. That's typical. Yeah. Left side will be in. And then, uh, yeah. Then I guess for the other one, we'll probably hit the CPU. I I don't know. For like the CPU and the chipset, I'm not worried about order other than what like has the lowest chance of kinked hoses. Okay. Sounds like a band name. <laughs> it's a band name, yeah. What kind of band, though? Grindcore. Grindcore. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a good point too, and that's a comment I made last time. As far as like, why waste your time re working on old hardware? The point someone raised in chat is Steve's getting paid to do this, <laughs> which is true. Like. Yeah, I mean, obviously, same answer with uh, why do you do overclocking. Uh, okay, super chats. Got those questions already. Cal <laughs> uh, Frizzell, 28 Swedish Kroner, thank you. Sikotic, $2. It must hurt having to tater to your audience. Uh, yeah. It does. That one was pretty painful. <laughs> uh, Adam Schumann Sr., $5. What CPU are you using? 
QX6850 Core 2 Extreme. There you go. Socket Cor 755. <laughs> Corey Kearney, 2 dollars Canadian. Thank you. When is Snowflake Squarespace page going live? I did actually make one for that ad. So like it exists, and I could set it live, and I actually did consider it. I don't know. Maybe I'll ask Squarespace to just give me that one for free. <laughs> so right now, it's a, that one's actually a trial. So I'll say, like, hey, uh, actually, everyone really wants this page live. So what can we do about that? Uh, Specifically put in the wrong one <laughs> after you told me which. Oh, you did the. Yeah, okay. I'm sure everybody was watching me do that. <laughs> Robert White, $5. Do an Enso Mesh case review update in case it's less of a toaster. I do want to do one of those, and they know it. Um, they asked us to review one for a long time, actually, and then I think he ended up saying, actually, let's skip the Mesh, the Enso Mesh, and do the, I forget what it was called, like some other Mesh case they showed at Computex. And I don't think that's come out yet, so I don't know, maybe I'll follow up and ask for the Mesh. Uh, Odin Allencar, $5. Just got here, and is that Enforce? Uh, yeah, uh, 750i. 750i. Cheers from Brazil, they say. Uh, Richard Bogan, $5. For the love of God, where is my foil shirt? No response received, only order confirmation at purchase. If you emailed support, you would have received the response. Like, I, have, I audited that inbox. All the emails have been read. So if you haven't gotten it, email support at GamersX. Well, you haven't gotten it because it's being made right now, but once it's done being made, if you haven't gotten it, email support at gamersnexus.net. If you have any current questions about it, email support at gamersnexus.net. He'll help you out. Uh, we're on top of support for that stuff. Now, as for the shirts, the shirt on the page you ordered it in very large text said that it had to be made after we get the orders because we have a limited allocation of them and we take the orders to figure out what sizes we need because you have to figure there's, I don't know, what is it, like eight SKUs? of sizes for one product. And because we only bought so much fabric, we need to know how to split the fabric so we don't end up with like 10 extra smalls that are left over and we run out of larges or we run out of mediums. So we take all the orders and we cut the fabric and make the shirts. So uh, on the page it said, you know, pre-orders, they have to get made after they're closed for ordering. They were closed for ordering a little while ago, so getting made now, then we have to ship them here. So. Uh, you can email support about it, but um, October delivery is when we expect to receive them in October, and then they go out to you guys after that. Uh, Adam Schumann Sr., $5. Put an ice cube in the reservoir. That's an old one. I always appreciate the stream viewers who've been around to remember the old ones. The system that was in was is actually over there on the shelf with the skull on it, but that was the Hades Canyon system. I think that's what it was called. Yeah, yeah. Hades Canyon. Not to be confused with Devil's Canyon. Not to be confused with Devil's Canyon. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Was, people wanted me to put an ice cube in it to cool it down uh, for like chiller, basically. Please don't yell at me. This is not a permanent solution. These <laughs> tubes are going to kink eventually, but by the time they kink, we won't have this loop assembled anymore. Yeah, so right. Calm down. <laughs> uh, OK. Have you voiced your thoughts about 10th Gen? No, because I don't have it, and I try not to think too hard about parts that are coming out, but we don't have yet. Um, oh, this is a funny comment. <laughs> At first, I was like, what's going on? But they, they said, uh, I haven't received my mod mat. It's been like nine months. I haven't ordered one, but I haven't received one. <laughs> Nine yeah. months since I haven't ordered one. <laughs> Things that might be your problem. <laughs> uh, all right. Any other? Trying to see if there are any normal chat things I need to hit here. Oh, people didn't get the joke that that person posted. <laughs> all right. Yes, so we have cleaned everything, and we just need to finish assembling it. Uh, someone was asking about the... XFX 5700 XT Thick, which is in fact its name, and I'm trying to get one. Um, I will probably have to buy it. I've kept an eye on retail sites and haven't seen it listed anywhere in the U.S. yet. We don't have micro centers in the U.S. Those might be a good option if they were near us, but uh, as soon as I can buy one, I will. Yeah, I think the nearest one's probably in Virginia. Yes, I am not driving to Virginia to <laughs> buy something named Thick. 
Oh, yeah. Where did you want the uh, QDCs? Uh, yeah. Um, so where's this going into the chipset? <laughs> Whichever one it fits in. <laughs> and then out and into It's going to like constrain the flow a bit, but that's whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, We're at that time in the stream. <laughs> Not gonna reach that one. Yeah, I cut it for the chips that in. It will can kink. That's for sure gonna kink. That's what I was trying to. That's why I was saying. Uh, I wasn't sure how to route it, but it'll be fine for this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was like, gonna, I was gonna run this one in the chipset and then figure out something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> after that. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Um, so QDCs. I guess we don't really need a QDC at the end of the loop because it's just going to be a hose hanging in the top of the reservoir. Um, you, well, we have a. Oh no, a we have a cap. Yeah, never mind. Uh, if we do one, we probably want it at the radiator connecting to the video card. That would make the most sense to me. Just to make it easy to separate. Gotta keep them separated. Why? Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> I changed my mind about kinktosis. I think they'd be a riot girl band. <laughs> kinktosis would be a riot girl. Riot girl. Yeah, that was like a '90s oh. feminist punk movement. Oh, punk movement. Okay, that would make sense to me. Uh, I think we'll throw that in the middle of the uh, radiator hose. Okay. <clears throat> wow, look at there. that. That's some nice lighting on there. Yeah, I was looking at it. Now. Yeah. Looking at it on the stream from the sun coming in. I live 20 minutes from the Virginia Micro Center. Well, if you're going there and you see the XFX thick, um, I guess get in touch with us and I'll, uh, you know, you can buy it and I'll send me the receipt and I'll pay for it and you can just mail it to us. And buy it and reward XFS, XFX's behavior. Yeah, right. This, they'll be like, this is the most, uh, the highest selling card of all time. Um, okay, so. That's not tight yet, but that's fine because we might need to adjust it. Yes. If it's not tight, then we just need to remember to go through everything and tighten it. Yeah. Um, all right, let's run a hose to the... Uh, CPU, I guess. Okay. Do you want coming out first? Then you wanted the QDC in here? I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you want to make a cut in the middle and then just add the QDC in, we'll need zip ties for that. Uh, I mean, actually, we might have the, we might have clamps. You could probably put a real clamp on this. I think we have the small ones. We don't have any, the big ones are all in use, but. My safety. Keegan's raising his eyebrows at me. Got violent from here. <laughs> Cut towards Look, your. Look, no blood. <laughs> it was fine. Cut towards your chum. Not your thumb. Not your thumb. <laughs> Sounds like something Jim would say. Yes, that's close. Something that Bob Stewart said to me oh. from BS Mods. Same mentality. <laughs> this hose has gotten longer. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we don't really need one here because you can just take the cap off. Or actually, no, let's put one in here anyway. Now that I think about it. Here you see? Yeah. Okay, leave a little extra room. Oh, actually, I should cut in the middle of the tube, I guess. Yep, cutting with the razor blade to get through a tube is not going to create a very clean loop. It's like nothing is quite flush, but it's close enough. And I think... Uh, for what we're doing, this is going to be fine. I, I really do want to buy those things that Richie sent us, though. Yeah. We have those. They're pretty standard, I guess. I bled for this thing. <laughs> it's 
got stopped by a fan connector. They're again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Bastard. They're uh, pretty standard, but I really do like the the hose cutters that he sent out. Should have just bought those from him, really. I think this is sharper than that. That is much sharper than this. Do you want to cut that? I'm cut the tip of my finger off. <laughs> oh, That's good. Screen. Better than better than me losing the tip of my finger to a fan header. Uh, end of this somewhere. Ah, I'm blended in. Okay, what do we need for? I guess we need some clamps. Do we still have that water thing? Yes, water clean bucket. Linus got stabbed too. Yeah, that's the blood sacrifice. Yes, everyone who has built a computer at some point has probably had that. The gods are appeased. There's someone else, CC. CC says, I'm stuck on offspring now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, will these things fit on the... We shouldn't oh, screw yeah. this in yet. That'll work. Because otherwise we can't fill it. Yes. That is a good point. I just <laughs> <laughs> you all thought I was going to do it. but <laughs> That is a good point. Um, e also, the easiest thing to do, will, that's why I put the QDC in, because then you just rotate it with the hose in there. Oh, otherwise true. it starts like screwing up the whole thing. Um, yep. Let's... Uh, See, oh, they did fit. Do these fit? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, you might want to do them on the. Um, yes. Let's do that on uh, these before we forget. Okay. These things have never worked. They've always been too small, but this hose has a slightly smaller outer diameter than the one we normally work with. And it is much better for this. Two more. These are the. That's the one that worked. Okay. The for the QDC? Or for yeah. the. That is not tight at all. I like that. It's not doing anything. <laughs> you have the pliers? Yeah. Okay. All right. Don't forget the tweezers, they're saying. Missing the, yeah, I know we're missing the tube between the chips out of the CPU. <laughs> yes, thank you, though. That would be a, a funny leak test. Fill it with the water, and it all comes like, why does it keep filling? <laughs> How much space is there in this reservoir? Wow. People are really, really freaked out about that missing hose. Look. <laughs> we know it's missing. Well, maybe I didn't, but <laughs> Steve knew it was missing, so. Yes. Uh, are these pretty tight? Yes. All right, cool. This one needs to be a bit tighter. Do you remember these, Keegan? Like, the really, really bad $8 kit of tools we bought in a... Was it Seattle or San Francisco where we had a camera problem? San Francisco. I thought it was San Francisco. Like GDC or something? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I bought an $8 kit of various tools because we're trying to fix maybe. Oh, the light thing was bad. Uh, yeah. The light exactly. mount. That was uh, my first official show. Yeah. And then wasn't it. Um, was that the place where we, did we get a replacement? I yeah. think, thought we went to a camera store and we found one. We found that really cool camera store. And that wasn't, uh, the one in Seattle? No, it was San Francisco. Okay. Seattle's got that one with the name. No, it's San Francisco. Cause it's, it's like a block and a half away from the cream puff place. Oh. A yes. I hope everyone's enjoying the story that <laughs> you can hear Steve saying yes and none of what he can say. The hose is off eating tater tots. I don't. Please, no. You acting like you're ready to fill, but missing the hose. No, we're not <laughs> acting like we're ready to fill. We're clamping everything yeah, down. <laughs> Uh, you see, this is good tube writing, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go with it. I like it. 
The more we lean into bad, the better. <laughs> Nobody can blame me if I do it on purpose. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Try and beat that, Jay. <laughs> what are cool? Jay's gonna come out with like 300 feet of tubing tangled into like a Celtic knot or something. <laughs> Have it all running through one system. Uh, super chats. <laughs> I forgot to put an ice cube in a reservoir. Uh, FR18 Nietzsche 44ED, $2, thank you. Uh, ha, tailor to me, you long haired Olaf. It's, are we insulted? I think it's a joke, but I am perhaps not well read enough to get it or something. Sorry, uh, sorry, Roger. Last five dollars. Enjoy the build. Enjoying the build stream. Any Linux videos on the way? No, unfortunately not. Um, Linux is. I actually used to play around with it a bit uh, many years ago. Oh, that sun. It's very bright. Uh, so yeah, we we have a Linux server that I built. Uh, actually, the most recent revision was built by Rob Williams from Tech Gauge, and um, we don't do any content around it though. It's just for the server, and I don't use Linux on any personal machines. I like it. I've used it a lot, but never really did content around it because I'm not enough of an expert on it to where I feel like I should talk about it. And then, as far as using it on machines. Uh, it's just easier for most of the applications we need to use Windows. Um, so yeah, you know that's that said. If you don't know, I'm sure you know who he is. But Wendell from Level One Text does very good Linux work. Energy scene, ten dollars. Thank you. When the hair mount kit ad was done, how did EVGA react to it, and did they give tater tots? Also, like people who are just tuning in are gonna be like, "What is? Why do they keep saying tater tots?" Also, I would order more GN merch, but. Got stunned by customs duty uh, too many times in the UK. Sorry. Yeah, I wish. I mean, wish we could do something about that, but we really can't. Um, thank you, though. And then, as far as how did EVJ react? Uh, EVJ requested a funny ad, and specifically Jacob from EVJ, who's got a bit of a sense of humor more than most people in the industry and in his line of work. And he wanted a he wanted a funny ad. He had requested a lot of ads, and every time I was like, "What do you what? Like, how do you want it to be funny? Give me some direction." And he'd be like, "Well, I don't know. Can you do something with your hair?" And so then we just did the closed loop liquid cooler thing. I don't know. Felt a little weird having Andrew take like slow mo shots of uh, like we did the one with cable combs in my hair for for that ad. <laughs> that one was funny because I said to him. You're probably not going to make a return on investment on on this ad for the cable combs. Uh, are you sure you want to do it? And he was like, eh, it'll be pretty funny. And it was. And everybody commented on it. So to his credit, in terms of brand awareness, they got it. <laughs> I guess it worked. Uh, Leviathan Prim, $2. I bled for this thing. Called it. Yep. <laughs> Odin Allen Carr, two dollars. N Force were terrible to overclock. Will you try? If, uh, if uh, this works, we might consider doing some more with it. But I don't know. Yeah, if people are interested. If people actually care about this content, stream viewership is pretty good, but it's not high enough that I'm like, yeah, we need to do another stream with this immediately. But it's good. I don't know if it's like extreme overclocking stream good, or even just overclocking stream good. Dissident Agnostic, $2, thank you. When are you going to retry a 5 gigahertz 3900 XOC? I actually have done that since. Um, we've had it running to a size 5.3 now. And the trick was to bring Infinity Fabric down to 1467 and to uh, drain the LN2 pot that one time. It got too filled with water. So we ran at 5.3. I want to do a stream. I don't, we haven't published any content with it at that speed. So I do want to do a stream or some more with it. Um, but yeah, we did, uh, we did actually successfully get there. When Joe is here, probably next week, we'll do something. CC, $5. Speaking of Jays, have you forfeited the overclocking battle? No, we won with the LN2 round with Kane Pen. Uh, we did that eight hour thing. So I, I did uh, win against Jay in that one. As far as the non LN2 stuff, 
I should probably do something in response at some point. You forgot to water cool the sound card. Oh no. EVG beat us to it. Speaking, yeah, speaking of. Oh. 
Okay. It's trying to come back. Uh, looks like it's coming back. Is anyone still watching? <laughs> okay. And I th think it should be back now. Looks like not too many people dropped off, so that's good. <clears throat> Are we dropping frames? Or? No. It looks like it's a... Uh, well, yeah, now it is. Is that what that... I got a call from a weird four-digit number. I don't know. Yeah, it might be weather issues affecting internet or something. It seems to be working now. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's good now. It's at twelve megabits per second again. Okay, all right. Solidarity stream. I don't know why people didn't drop off in larger numbers, but thank you for sticking around while we fix that. I lost like four hundred people or something. Uh, okay, I guess I'll at least tweet out and say that it's back. Yeah, give it a second. It's it's back up to the right uh, internet speed now. It'll you just have to wait for it to catch up. Okay, stream is back up. Sorry about that. Not sure what happened. I um, all I did was disconnect and reconnect the capture card, and then everything magically worked again. Which seems to be about the story of how this always goes down. Okay, yeah. So, getting views. Thanks for sticking around. Sorry about that. Uh, everything should be working now. No, it's yeah. I know. If, if you say it's stuttering, it's because it was. Like when I restarted up, then I started again. Now it should be fixed. Uh, refresh if yeah, refresh to fix buffering. Uh, buffering. Okay, let's just say that. I'm gonna paste that a few times in chat. Okay. Um, no, it is not still lagging. Refresh. Uh, or or well, like it's just, I was gonna say, or like, you know, if people are watching it back in time on the DVR, then pull the slider ahead, but then they're not going to hear me say that until now. So I guess if you hear it now, then just jump to present time to re resolve the issues. Um, OK, all right. Oh, no, actually, it looks like a lot of people did drop on that. But they're starting to come back in. That's weird. I think they dropped when it was um, the buffering issue. OK. About to fill the loop and leak test. Okay. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. Okay. Well, it actually did drop a lot more. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the internet's screwy because the weather or what. Okay, let's fill this. Okay. Um, I'll let you do it while I try and catch no. up on chat and stuff. No, you don't need that. I would just dump it in. Okay. Yeah. No, it's fine. You just trust like, me. Well, don't miss. Just pour slowly, and it'll be fine. Um, this needs to be in there, though. Yeah, but I'm not going to turn it on until okay. I'm going to fill it in. Then. Yeah. How do I control F5 on my phone? I <laughs> close it and then come back. Uh, OK. Yeah, the data rate seems good now, so that's, that's good. All right, so a couple store orders I'll shout out. Um, I'm not sure what caused that. Like, none of the cables disconnected, right? Whatever. Robert from Texas, thank you. Like I said, if you use GN Shield 10 on the store today, uh, you can um, get 10% off any order on the store. So Robert picked up a toolkit and anniversary edition shirt. Patrick's turning on the loop, it looks like. You're going to need more. Oh, that's not bad, actually. So we're going to have to see if there's leakage anywhere. I touched the table and I got concerned because it was wet, but that was just from earlier when we cleaned it. You tightened all these in, I guess, at mm -hmm. the back. Okay. Yep. I don't see any osmosis on the shop towel. That's good. Any comments or uh, capillary action, I mean. Uh, Nick from British Columbia picked up a Graph logo shirt. Thank you, Nick. Use the GN Shill 10 code on the store.cameratexas.net for that. Joseph grabbed the Graph logo shirt as well, actually, from Michigan. We got a couple more. Might not get all these, so I'll try. Jonathan from the UK uh, grabbed a GN logo shirt, the original shirt. 
CC, you missed the Jay's challenge video. Check the 3D Mark leaderboards. No, actually, I didn't. I beat him in person, and I didn't upload the score, because who cares? Yeah, no, he's got a, a non-liquid nitrogen version. We'll, we'll respond to that at some point. All right. Some people are saying they had to refresh it a few times to fix buffering, but it appears to be fixed. Is it running? I need, let's this see. is running. There's no water on the shop towel. That's good. Nice. Okay, now just stay there for 24 hours <laughs> and let it leak test. Seems good. Yeah, I might um, fill this up a little bit more and then put the cap on because there's always going to be some air in here. Yeah. I fill it to like about an inch, maybe an inch and a half below the top. Right. It looks pretty good. I got Patrick with his knowledge of water pressure. <laughs> Show off. Yeah. Ask me how many times I poured water all over this table. Off camera. <laughs> Joseph Pilarski got a shout from Tech Jesus made by Friday. Got a second one. Uh, yes, okay, so I uh, order from Robert in Colorado. A lot of Colorado orders today. Picked up a medium mod mat, thank you, and the teardown toolkit. Let me see if there's any super chats I need to catch up on. Oh yeah, we got that one. You forgot to water cool the sound card. Yes, that was a tragic mistake. We'll never make it again, because we'll never use a sound card again. <laughs> oh, we got Big Al's. Uh, let's see. Adam Schumann Sr. said she's Dunsky, Steve. Yes, it was Dunsky. Bazinga X, $2. Quick, someone call Snowflake. Hughes, 370 SCM, $10. More weekday live streams, please. Work is overrated. Yes. If you are watching the stream during uh, office hours, I guess more power to you. But that if you get caught and they fire you, then you'll have less money for Super Chats. So be careful. <laughs> also food and living. Serpent XSF, $5. Keep up the good work, guys. Also, the Azrock Challenger GPU build quality was disappointing. I actually haven't seen that one yet. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to get the Azrock cards in. I know there's a lot of requests for them. Azrock XFX. I just got a Sapphire card in. Can't technically say what it is, but pretty sure everyone knows. Um, so I got a Sapphire card in. We have an embargo on that one. And then... Uh, I think that's it for right now. The rest I gotta buy. I have to buy the XFX and maybe the Azrock. I'm hoping will send it to me, but we'll see. I like how the flow impedance here actually makes it look cool, but yeah, it's actually not good. <laughs> but it cool. doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our loop order is a little wonky, but. I do really, you know, this looks like you did it intentionally. Like, uh, it does look like some kind of artistic statement. Yeah. <laughs> of course it was intentional. So does it turn on? The radiator's cold from the fridge water. Uh, I guess I can grab um, less money for tater tot. Uh, Agent Lokfokun. Steve, I'm broke, but can you tell me happy birthday would make my year? I'll buy a signed mod mat when I can. Well, if you're dead broke, uh, you know, you take your time on that, obviously. Other priorities. It doesn't offend us. But uh, happy birthday, though. I, 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 too, hope that you have ginormous windfall so that you can pick up a mod mat. Oh, yes, let's cap the, <laughs> cap the gallon of water. Oh, it'll be fine. Kill the stream a second time. Somebody tapped their own screw holes in this radiator. <laughs> I don't think I did that. <laughs> did you? I hope not. Uh, it must have come like that. Oh. It's because probably the screw that was in there was too big, right? The threading was too large. 
I think those are actual screw holes. Huh. But whatever screws were in there last time were pro oh, they're probably fan screws, which have the really wide teeth. Mm -hmm. I bet it just chewed through it. I uh, will grab a monitor, I guess. Okay. Where's that? Oh, damn it. Just use this one. Who could have predicted that we would actually get as far as actually trying to turn on the computer? Still need to uh, plug in all the board power and these fans, etc. Super important that we get all of these screws attached though. I brought a 4K monitor, actually it's 1440, but I brought a 1440, 140 hertz monitor, I think. Nice. Because I'm really optimistic about this and I think that our 2560 Ti's will hit 1440 at 140 hertz with the QX 6850, is that right? Yes. Is that the name of that thing? Mm -hmm. We can't tell anymore because the Pullers on there. Uh, I guess I'll just. It's a bit large <laughs> for this table. I guess I'll just put it right in the middle. Yeah. Well, it's working. We just need to see if it's working. <laughs> <laughs> the water's working. How many EK Vardar fans do you think you need to cool a 560 Ti? One. <laughs> How about three? Three's a bit much. Wow, this is uh, quite the... I think we should post this on that Battle Station subreddit. This is quite the Battle Station setup. Someone will do it for us. <laughs> yeah, screenshot upload the Battle Stations. And you do the typical, the thing they always do and say, it's not much, but it's mine. And then you click on it and it's like a $6,000 computer. <laughs> 1440p at 140 hertz. You can watch a lot of high quality tater tot images that way. That's a stretch. Damn it, Joe. Look what you've made these people do. I'll watch where I step just in case. Oh, wait a second. I found a flaw. What is the flaw? <laughs> <laughs> it's the flaw that they're all... The oh. flaw is HDMI. I do have DVI monitors, but they're all unused, but I can get one. Um, is that mini HDMI at the top? Whatever. I guess we'll... My, I don't think this monitor has the DVI cable on it. Nope. I think we have an adapter, but yeah. We found, we found the flaw. I guess I'll go. We do have adapters, but those suck. <laughs> Let me get the control room screen back open, and then I guess I'll go find a DVI monitor. Uh, it's still one of the square ones out of the storage room. Actually, I think, I think I remember, I think I remember an HDMI to DVI one that works reliably. This thing's going to take off. These are 1850 RPM fans. <laughs> Display port. Oh, there's a converter. Does this fit? Does this fit in that? Yes. Oh, nice. Cool. This is great audio, guys. Is it? It's really good audio. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Lean in real close. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the water and the screws and the basket packaging. Yeah. Yeah. Is this calming for everyone? Uh, ASMR water loop building. Um, I'm not going to put as many screws in these fans as I should. 
<laughs> so I don't want to. Oh, it screws them. Yeah, they don't need just, just lean them against it. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we just need to plug this in and then we can see if it puts video out. Yeah. Are there any leaks anywhere? Uh, that pump's working hard right now. No leaks that I've seen. So, we're gonna trip a breaker with a, a power supply that's pushing five watts into a pump and a monitor that has LEDs on the back. Hook up some speakers, yeah, so we can play the, <laughs> so we can play the sound off the sound card through our camera, actually through our audio equipment, through your audio equipment, through YouTube compression. Yep, <laughs> sounds, sounds like it'll be really good audio. Do we have that uh, Molex fan <laughs> splitter out here? Uh, what do you need? Molex to four pin? Sure. There's no reason to ever run fans below 100%. Hey. Do you need the floss for something? That sounds like a new piece. <laughs> Some tots. Some tater tots. This will work. What's the problem? It doesn't reach. Do you need a four pin? Uh, I mean, I was just going to power them. Well, it's but have more. Eh. We don't actually need more than one of these fans to be moving anyway. So. Yeah, not right now. Do we have a drive with an OS on it or no, no OS? Uh, no OS. Okay. Well, we can get into BIOS. See if it works. Listening to this through 1996, Altec Lansing ACS 290s. I don't think I had those, but I did have a lot of Altec Lansing speakers, and they lasted a long time. Benchmark the sound card. Come on, Steve, trick, trip a breaker like you did on EVGA. Yeah, that was good. Uh, so basically, it wasn't entirely my... F Jay was on a separate circuit. Uh, so it was entirely your fault? So it was my fault. Basically, right when I was, I had a really good bench run going. Uh, the cane pin, I was running a cane pin card, Z390, overclock. It's Vince's fault. It was Vince's fault. And um, poured on two in it, had a really good run going. <coughs> and half of the studio room, the lights turned off. Our bench system shut down. But the technician there at EVJ, I am thankful to him today still. He was... He had the foresight before we, the night before we streamed to say, how important is each of these systems? And we're like, well, the bench system, whatever, and the stream system is ex extremely critical. So he ran uh, an extension cable out into an outlet in the other room or something, and that never went down. So <laughs> that was good. We just lost my bench system. It came, he went and reset it, came back, and then... Um, uh, EVJ stream went down as well, which was not great, but they got that back. And uh, yeah, that was, uh, we were pulling too, way too much power for that. That was pretty fun. That's somewhere in the middle of that eight hour stream. If you're, it's probably the last two to three hours if you want to go scrub for it. Maybe someone time stamped it. Yes, I'm daisy, using the daisy chains, PCIe power plugs. Yeah, because yeah. there's two plugs each. For, for each card, there's two six pin connectors. I think this yeah. is a uh, pretty good build, other than our tube routing. <laughs> but like, you know, it's it's SLI with really nice water blocks on the GPUs and. Uh, I'm sure it looked super cool before we got it, when it was actually in a, in a case. You said it was purple coolant? Uh, that's what was all over everything. Oh, okay. Yep, that's about right. 
that's where this goes. And we route cables through here. Street Guru. Keegan's trying to help me, chat. but I don't need help. <laughs> Keegan throws his hands up, <laughs> walks out the door, <laughs> and drives away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me do any. I think we're caught up on Super Chats for the most part. Uh, Adam Stafford, 199. Will my 750 watt power supply be okay for 3950X RTX 2070? Uh, probably. I don't have a 3950X. Well, you already have <clears throat> the power supply, right? Yeah, if you have the. They already have it, so I'm going to go with yeah. I mean, RTX 2070 doesn't draw that much power. 3950X, but anything like a 3900X should not draw an insane amount of power. You'll be fine. I think so. You're good. Uh, Adam Schumann Sr., $2. Hook up some speakers. Yeah, I got that one. Big Al, $268, $5. Board that old might want to replace the motherboard battery. That is actually a good point, but we'll see if it works. Yeah, it wasn't giving errors when I, okay. <laughs> when I got it to post without any <laughs> cooling on any of the board components. Yeah. It did uh, do a thermal shutdown, though. Yes. And then it wouldn't post for five minutes. Um, yes, the method of hold the cooler on top of the CPU with your hand. Oh, that's a good question. Catawax, $2. What keyboard is that? This is a <laughs> Silicon Graphics Incorporated keyboard that was sent into us. Um, Not the original, though, right? Not the original SGI keyboard. He said it's like a... Yeah, this is one of the newer ones. I mean... Newer as in, yeah. like, what, still mid-90s, but um, the this is just a rubber dome keyboard for anybody that's getting too excited in chat right now. It's, it's just a regular rubber yes, dome keyboard. Yes, unfortunately. It is, that's from Ian from SGI Depot. He sent the whole box of cool stuff. You can um, search our channel for SGI if you want to watch any of the content, but Patrick worked on uh, some old silicon graphics uh, systems for a, a, maybe a week or two, and we have some cool stuff on that. Now let's see if it works. All right. Okay, yeah, I actually right. just realized I can't see the monitor, so. Let's see if I'm missing oh, anything. Oh, I'll watch OBS. Nice. And then I can watch the monitor through our camera. Yes, nice. I see it. Striker 2 Extreme. That looks good. That's <laughs> like shorts out instantly. <laughs> Now, what do we want to do? <laughs> uh, only thing missing from the keyboard is the curly cord. Yeah, those were, those are the real OGs. That keyboard doesn't even have RGB. It has uh, G. It has G, yeah. Yes, on the caps lock key. It's, it's got G LEDs. Now you got a couple store shout outs. Is it still on? Oh, yeah. Might have to switch to manual focus for that. I don't know. Uh, so like I said, if you buy from the store, you can use GN Shill 10. GN Shill 10 on the store through 11.59 PM Eastern tonight. You shut it off intentionally? Yes. OK, good. <laughs> and uh, Keegan's pointing at the monitor, so that would look like it just died. Everyone's going to spam chat with F. Uh, John from Texas got a mod mat. Thank you, John. Really appreciate that. We have another order of those coming in right now. Actually, they're they're on a boat. Uh, we used to airship them, but now we only airship some of them, and then we put the rest on a boat because the tariffs actually went up so much that I can't I can't airship all of them anymore. We wouldn't make any money. Uh, so they would take a little longer to get here, but they're on the way, and we have a notice on the page of when they arrive. Uh, thank you for ordering that, though. And then Dakshitha from Missouri picked up a mod mat as well, signed. Thank you very much. We get like maybe two or three more of these. Christopher from Alabama picked up a GBU artifacting shirt and a teardown toolkit. Thank you. We got a lot of use out of those toolkits during the stream. Uh, Donald from Florida picked up a toolkit as well. There's only a few I haven't read. Matthew from Michigan a little while ago picked up a teal logo shirt. How's that going over there? The, what are you, are you trying to plug the fans in or something? 
Trying to plug SATA in. It's making me feel like a moron. What's wrong with it? Ugh, just really tight connectors on here. Yeah. Well, they that was, um, keep in mind, that was before the metal sprain SATA cables. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> so you, I don't know. We don't have many of the non-metal sprain ones. Oh, well, it'll I do, do remember them <laughs> sucking, though. I remember them coming out if you, like, picked up and moved your system. Those were not... Yeah, well, they're, it's, it's in there now. I hated SATA for a long time. Uh, ben R, $2. What panel do you prefer for gaming, VA, IPS? I honestly... I don't even think about it. Like, um, The only game I'm playing right now is Total War Three Kingdoms. That's on... An, Ultra wide. Oh, it's a Dell Ultra wide. Dell Ultra Sharp Ultra wide. Uh, I think that's an IPS panel. The refresh for me, like the the extra, I don't know, the loss of speed in some aspects. I, I don't notice with RTS games really, but um, that's really more of a question for like, I don't know. Uh, I guess it depends on what you're doing. If you're doing anything that requires extreme color accuracy, it might be worth forfeiting some stuff for IPS. That's what we did. We focused on color accuracy for our video production side of things. And then there's obviously some trade-offs. But Nice. Awesome. It works. Is it a boot override? I didn't see you put the floss there. Was that you? <laughs> yes. This is what I want. What? Removable is the first priority. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. Removable meaning. That is correct. Yes, OK. You have a Windows key in there or something? Uh, yeah. Are we installing Windows. <laughs> <laughs> For the second stream in a row, people yes, get to that's... watch me install Windows. <laughs> and then when it's done, you'll get to play, uh, what do they call it? They don't call it solitaire. What does Windows 10 call it? Oh, man. There was some know. stupid name, wasn't it? Yeah. And then Minesweeper's gone, too. That was tragic. It's like, you have to get on a stupid Windows store now. Uh, Eric E., $20 Canadian. Thank you. And I see tatering the post. And antici. Oh, anticipating. Ah, yeah. That wasn't a stretch. <laughs> Anticipator in the post. Now, do you think we're booting to the USB key, or do you think we're booting to whatever ancient Windows install is on this SATA drive that I picked up off the shelf? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Probably USB. Probably USB, because it still hasn't booted. <laughs> yes. Uh, Shelby, Shelby LSX LOL boost, $2. But will it run Crisis? A little good stuff, guys. Probably. It's the right era. Yeah. It's uh, the tw 2008, I think, is when that came out, isn't it? Yeah. Crisis. Strike the two extreme. I'm pretty sure Crisis was, two no, it was 2007. November 2007. The CPU came out in 07, so. Yeah. So this is what you would build. This is it your is high end right. Crisis. We should actually install Crisis on this. To buy it first. That's a good game. Yes. I have the box with the CD. Oh, OK. <laughs> you want to bring Well, actually, we have a CD drive, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, we pulled it out. Oh, I've got external CD drives, but it'd be more authentic if we use like an actual one. This is, then we get all the noise that they make. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, L4G custom fabrication. Why do I have to jump my power supply, green slash black? To turn it on, I suppose. I'm not, I don't, it's like a philosophical question. Like, the power supply is jumped in the woods, does it make a sound? Um, like to turn it? To turn it on. Green and black will jump it, yes. Uh, I'm not sure what the question's asking. Uh, green and black will jump the power supply, if that's the question. When would you jump a power supply? It would be if you're like troubleshooting, trying to see if the power supply works at all, independent of a system. Um, we use it to, you probably, did you jump it to do the leak test? I did earlier, yeah. Yeah. So get these plugs yeah. with the cables. And those are, 
they're really nice, but it's also, I mean, it's it's a paper clip is what they're, yeah. We just use it because they're included with some of the stuff, loop, custom loop stuff we have. Um, it's connection between two things. They're definitely nice. They're more stable, but you could also use a paper clip. Uh, okay. What's stream chat saying? Or, yeah, chat saying. Something tells me Windows 10 might not be happy with uh, <laughs> but all of the components on this board. System. Windows ME or GTFO, as someone said. This is farther than Windows 10 usually gets uh, if it doesn't like hardware. Um, I have a Windows 7 CD in there still. That's how far do people want us to go with this? That's from 2009. Protected that CD with my life. <laughs> no 10 gig port on the I.O.? Oh, is that no. a question? No, I don't think so. Should install Windows, Whistler, or Neptune. Can't run in PSUs without load. Break them. Typically, if you're running it without load, it's just to see if it works. So it's not going to, like, no. I mean, I don't know. Maybe if you ran it, I have no idea. If you ran an extended period of time, I don't know. I've never heard that. But I guess it's certainly possible. I don't pay attention to power slides. But you run them without a load to test it. Typically, the worst case scenario is it doesn't turn on because it doesn't have a load. And then you just plug a fan in, and then it'll work. All right. Uh, so we are caught up on Super Chats. Uh, David H, $2 is the most recent one. And then the store orders, I got a lot of, I, oh, there's not so many left. Let me read the last few store orders just to get everyone. Casey from Indiana picked up a teardown toolkit, thank you. There's like maybe eight of these to hit. John from Massachusetts picked up, a couple people from Massachusetts today, picked up a uh, teardown shirt actually, anniversary edition shirt. And Alan picked up the lightweight raglan hoodie. Thank you. I like that one. It's uh, good for the weather. Right? Well, not here. It was actually pretty hot, but it's good for the weather that should be happening right now where we are. Uh, black and blue mouse pad as well. Thank you. Steven from Indiana also picked up a toolkit and an anniversary shirt. There's four more for me to, to read here. Raymond from the UK. Picked up a medium mod mat and a teardown toolkit. Craig from Essex picked a couple people UK also. Picked up a teal logo shirt. And two more to hit right now. Mikkel from uh, Denmark picked up a two tone shirt. Thank you for that as well. And the last one I'll hit for now. Uh, Christoph from France picked up a mod mat. Thank you, Christoph. All right. Did you move the DVD drive somewhere? The external one? No, the one Michael had. Oh, uh, I don't think so. I don't know. OK. The, I know where the external one is. Yeah, it was on the shelf with that one. Yes. Did you see the external one or no? I saw the external one. OK. But I, didn't, I mean, if it's not booting from a USB device right now, then yeah. that's also I mean, it's, it is booting, right? It's just not. Unless it's booting off the. Oh, off the off drive. The SSG. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, it is booting off the drive. Yeah. You want to just try unplugging the drive and see if maybe the boot order is wrong on, I don't know. I guess you said it's a boot to removable. All right. Um, actually, I lied. There are three more. David from Texas. Toolkit and ModMat. Thanks again. Really like seeing the, the popularity of the toolkits. I had no idea we'd sell as many as we did when we got them in, and I'm really glad we did because it is the most money I've ever spent at one time. And it was, uh, like I said when we announced it, it was the biggest investment we've made because the problem was <clears throat> these the factories, they're happy to sell you like the generic, here's a pack of tools you can print your logo on that you, you walk into any Lowe's and find them for like $8. But we had really strict requirements on the metals. We had strict requirements on even just like rod length and handle length being uniform. Uh, we had to custom grind down and custom make the hex heads so that they would clear capacitors on the back of the NVIDIA RTX cards. When we tested them, that was a problem. So we had to custom grind them down to fix that. So cost was really high. MOQ, minimum order quantity, is really high because we were making so many demands. And um, so there was a big risk investment for us. And I'm glad people really liked the kit. Thank you. And then the last two here. Uh, Adam from Texas grabbed anniversary shirt. and. 
Chancellor from Arizona picked up a medium mod map. Okay. All right. I like the large mat. Well, thank you. Uh, the install feels like it's in a hard drive, 80 gigabytes. <laughs> yes, it's about that speed. Oh, Just hey, Patrick. Dinosaur bench. Where's the mouse? Oh, it's over there. Yeah? It's booting. Oh, I wanted to stand in front of the camera because I wasn't sure what OS this was. Yeah. I don't know if we had any I was worried about test data too. on there. OK. Well, OK. Apparently, we didn't. But here we are, and it's in 3D marks on here. Nice. Yes, let's just run it. There's no drivers. <laughs> There's no, no drivers for anything. That's not important. No chips on drivers. Although, I mean, no video card drivers. Kudos to Windows 10 for being able to go from booting on uh, whatever modern system we had set this up for to booting on uh, a quad core yes. from 2007. And well, two, it was called five, Dinosaur Bench. The, uh, the, uh, the computer name was Dinosaur Bench? Yeah, so I'm guessing. OK. Is this, this must be one you made, right? This is one of the ones that I set up for the. Uh, the Xeon? No, the um, Vision Tech graphics cards. Oh. The really old ones. OK. That's appropriate in a way. Yeah. Uh, You've got, uh, you have NVIDIA drivers on there. You can install it. <laughs> They're already downloaded. I don't know if they work. They probably work with these cards. Yeah. NVIDIA supports stuff a long time, typically. We should really just connect into the internet. It's going to be called an NVIDIA shell. You're a shell because you stated a fact. <laughs> Speaking of shells, you can go to store.gamersnexus.net and use code GNSHELL10 for 10% off during the stream. Getting good at this. It's like, oh, like I'm learning from Linus. Vision Tech, God, are they still around? That's a good comment. They are. You can buy $5 graphics cards from them on occasion and get graphics cards that are not really worth $5. Yes, we actually, uh, what did we, we spent like 50 bucks each on those? Yeah. So I think, was it each or total? It was each. It was each of us. I think we spent like $100 on a mystery box of GPUs. There's a video of it on the channel, too. You just type in mystery GPUs, I think. And do you remember what we got? It was, so like the high-end ones, the expensive cards in the mystery box were like $10. Mm -hmm. And those were the PCIe cards. Then there were some AGB cards for $5. I want to say the high-end cards were. The thing is, uh, one of us got a mid-range card and got the same model as the other person got for the high high end card. Oh yes. So yeah, I so basically for one of Patrick's cards it was $5 and one of mine was $10 and they're supposed to be like separate and I got the same one for 10 that he got for 5. So really really felt ripped off there for my PCIe 2006 video card. 8 gigs of memory. Nice. 2 by 4 gigabytes. Steve pulls off mask. It's actually Linus. <laughs> but uh, decompressing the um, NVIDIA drivers, is it like 80-something percent <laughs> CPU utilization? That's good. <laughs> I mean, at least it's using the, all those cores. Yeah. This was a high-end system. The LEDs a really uh, high -end report system. that this is set to CPU normal and not CPU high or CPU crazy. Oh. Uh, That's the power Indicators, to... yeah. <sighs> I hope that sound card shorts the video card. <laughs> did you plug in the LED thing? Oh, yeah, you did. Does it seem to be on, on, though? Maybe a white. There might be a white LED in there, actually. Yeah. I plugged in the. Um, oh, you plugged in the I/O. This thing too. That might be a configuration thing in BIOS. Might be BIOS, yeah. I mean, I. This is like the kind of. I like it. This is yeah. a better gaming computer than I've ever built. Oh, well, for what it's worth, we haven't for gotten a the BIOS reset message yet. So if they did that for this board, then it means that we're running whatever settings the last person had. Oh, we probably do have the same settings because yeah. um, it's the same CPU, so it wouldn't clear. Yeah. Yes, 
good point. Will these NVIDIA driver versions match the cards that we have on there? I them? hope so. I'd like to get a Fire Strike run. <sighs> Fire Strike uh, might be a little optimistic. Skydiver's on there too, though. Skydiver, yeah. Where's our frequency? 2.0 gigahertz. Maybe for all core that makes sense? I don't know. Yeah, it's a little low. It does seem low. Was this supposed to do three all core? Uh, Probably. I don't know. There was three gigahertz mentioned somewhere. Could be incorrect. It could be, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Could be um, C states and BIOS or something. We can check. Mm -hmm. We haven't done anything in BIOS yet. Back to 90% installing drivers. <sighs> yep. Extreme driver. At least it's working hard. You're getting your money's worth. I kind of want to pour LN2 on it. <laughs> to what end? Make it go faster. <laughs> we could, if we want to do an over, turn it into an overclocking stream, we can dump LN2 into the reservoir and <laughs> freeze the water. <laughs> Stop it from running at all. Agree and continue. I would like an express installation, please. Nothing about no, this installation. No, you should do custom to get rid of as many things as we can. I don't think if this is 391. There's That's like two things you can get rid of. Okay, this is before GFE was split out. Yeah. <clears throat> this is exhilarating. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Are there any questions? Like, I mean, I can read more store purchases and uh, super chats and stuff. Are there any questions, just a normal chat about this build, or any, any general questions I should read? Yes, we know it says 2.0. We know. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Sixty-eight fifty predates boost. Thanks. That is a good reminder. Joe's back, it looks like. Setting lock to 9x multiplier in BIOS should fix this. He didn't DDU anyways. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Oh, someone said that? Yeah. Whatever, man. Like, <laughs> this is so irrelevant to anything. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This it's, is the driver version that was on there already anyway, though. So yeah. I mean, it's it's just refining the devices. I mean, it would, I, obviously, ideally, we would DDU it, but we're not actually benchmarking it. We're just trying to get a baseline. This is painfully slow. No, see, it's moving. <laughs> it At this point, has. I don't know if it's the storage, because we used that kind of crappy drive, or if it's uh, we need to pump up the CPU and BIOS. You're doing too many things at once. <laughs> <laughs> Preview for Minecraft isn't available right now. I wanted to see uh, how much stupid Windows 10 <laughs> pre-installed crap is on here. But apparently this is not... Not much. The version Try winmine.exe. <laughs> well, it's just so that's, tempting to go do that's some else. stream. We had stuff going on up until this point. I thought this would go a bit faster. Is of course. there the 2 gigahertz 7980XE? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be a good one. Of course, now if we exit the stream, uh, people are going to be upset that we didn't get a benchmark run in. What about, what about going to BIOS and run Cinebench? Cinebench on here? Probably not. I don't know about this, man. I don't think this is going to work. I might just want to go back to BIOS here. I think we should go back to BIOS. This is insane. <laughs> hey, whoever was upset about me not DDUing, how do you feel about me <laughs> restarting in the middle of the driver and stuff? <laughs> LN2 the radiator. Yeah, so actually, when uh, we did do that LN2 stream with Canepin, he had the CPU on just closed loop liquid. And uh, to simplify it, and what I did was I positioned the fans on that radiator so they would suck in the LN2 vapor coming off of the GPU. And it did bring the temperatures down like maybe 10 degrees, so it was below ambient, but it wasn't in that environment, it wasn't quite cold enough to start condensing anything. Um, and so it dropped my temperatures without needing LN2, allowing me to boost the clock a bit more. And uh, 
just kind of a fun like he had fun clever things he could do in the stream in the in the setup to try and find some extra performance it restarted i didn't have to hit the reset button or anything cpu level really up let's do multiplier nine uh nine yes is that ten? I can't. That's uh, nine. You're looking at the sideways. Yeah, no, you're good. And then uh, I don't know anything else about this platform. Uh, what about? Is anything in here changed at all? Like, because this is probably their settings. Um, Let's do. A, how about like turning off all the C states and stuff? Is it under? Under power. Oh, extreme tweaker maybe. C one need disable that. Let's disable uh, uh, this is all fine. Okay, let's go back. And then is there anything else? Advanced. Advanced is a good place to hide stuff. Uh, let's do let's look at an onboard device just to see what's in there. Okay. Yeah, normal stuff. And go back. And then, um, how about power? Anything in power? I was just say CPI. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know anything about this platform at all, other than someone in chat said set it to 9. Uh, should OC to 4 gigahertz? No problem, someone says. Memory to 1600. Yeah, what was memory set to? Uh, well, it's 1333 memory, but I can go back into my SMG. Did you see what the bus was? No. But I'm going back in. Let's We're going back in. <laughs> I do like their fancy splash screen, though. <laughs> you they like don't this? get that animation anymore. Uh, no, they really don't. Where's the... Uh, 1333. What is... It was, what, 6 before the multiplier? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But the CPU multiply is independent. Are you talking about adjusting? E yes. Oh, there we go. OK, never mind. Yeah, I don't know. We can see if that works, I guess. Uh, what, okay. Oh, memory. We want to check memory. Is XMP on, if it even has it? Uh, I don't think SATA is on AHCI mode. Well, I mean, other options. It might have been installed on legacy, actually, so it wouldn't even matter. Uh, I don't know, I'm thinking of, uh, never mind. Oh, yes, yeah, is actually, is, a, is it on a HCI or is it on IDE? I think they might be right. It's, it's killing me. <laughs> um, hard, hard disk drives or boot settings configuration? Okay, go back, boot settings configuration. Uh, nope. Where was, where was, did you see it already? IDE function set up. Nope. Serial ATA configuration. I don't know why I didn't see that. Enabled. Cool. <laughs> I like enabled. So. Uh, Onboard device. IDE. Oh, no, that's a rate controller. Uh, HCI, yeah. Whatever. Um, did you see memory yet? It was on the first page? Yeah. So let's do extreme tweaker, and then memory, is there a memory frequency somewhere? Mm -hmm. Oh, memory ratio. Yeah, go into memory. No, I think we need to unlock settings. Who remembers onboard devices, someone's saying. I think we just checked that, right? The screen logo enabled. That's true. This is, yeah, I mean it booted, so we don't necessarily need to change the state of settings at this point. Um, yeah, I think that is correct. You want to try it? Let's no, I want to, let's just leave it to IDE. I All was right. changing it because that counter annoyed me, and then actually I do think we should just leave it alone because it booted already and went through all that trouble. Onboard device, or serial ATA, no, onboard devices. IDE, and then uh, to 
Yeah, okay, let's just boot. Let's boot with nine as a multiplier and see if anything happens. Uh, it's not comfortable. <laughs> Using it like that? Yeah. It's like Twitch plays overclocking. This is. <laughs> everybody has advice. Oh, was it AI overclock tuner on? I didn't even see that one. Joe says turn off AI tuner on the first page. We've got the uh, cool feature where we can go into BIOS anytime we want because we don't have a CPU fan plugged in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> AI yes. overclock tuner. He said off, which manual. I'm guessing is going to be manual. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's try booting. See if Joe has any other advice. All right. Is any of this under embargo? <laughs> Once upon a time. It was at some point. That is true. Uh, all right, so I just want to see if we can boot in, see if the frequency is, and then probably start closing it out. I hope it takes just as long to boot the second time. <laughs> CPU fan fail warning. Yeah, we didn't plug it in the CPU fan header. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of... Everyone wants us to do it. We're not trying to like actually overclock this guy. It's like just trying to get it booted, which it is. We've really accomplished the goal of the stream already. If we do overclock, and it should be after uh, actually looking at the platform and reading about it, because I never worked on this one. Uh, These are the Q90, Q6600, but the no. I could dig through here and see if Cinebench is on here, but no. this is also a system we use for benchmarking. Yeah, no, I'll just leave it. So what do you want to do? What's the frequency showing in Task Manager? Assuming we can even trust Task Manager. 2.97. OK. Well, clearly, there's no point in trying to install the drivers. I mean, they might install faster now, but that was painful last time, so. Well, we can let 3D Mark run while let it, uh, maybe while we do something else. If it runs without any anything installed. <laughs> Overclock stream. Is that cool in time hearing turning around? Yes. Yeah, see it's like all this disable all the firewire and other BS set up fastest boot order priority. It's just like we don't we don't it's not an overclocking stream. <laughs> not trying to get the maximum out of it. It's not even set up. The OS is Literally just pulled off the shelf. Well, okay. I guess I'll read the last few things and start closing this one. It works. That's cool. We accomplished what we wanted, which was clean out the blocks and get it running. There's no leakage yet, so I think we're good. Uh, those are some... I, I still really like the water blocks that were used with this. Yeah, I know we can't trust the task manager. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, no drivers, so we're just going to leave that alone. Where is the... So I'm going to read a couple super chats here and close out. Uh, we'll run Crisis, yes, probably once we actually install everything. Uh, Megan Cratchy, $2. I'll get in trouble if I buy from the store again. <laughs> <laughs> Shelby LS X LOL boost two dollars. That driver install is painful to watch. Yes, it was. Catawax is that two gigahertz seven nine eighty XT? Yeah, got that one. All right, a couple store orders. There's like five. I'll shout out and we'll close. Uh, Colburn from Illinois picked up a two tone shirt. Thank you. I like that one a lot. That was a custom design we did. A GP artifacting t-shirt and teardown toolkit for Brendan in Australia. Going a long way for that. Carlos in Puerto Rico picking up a teal logo shirt. 
We have Mark Preston in, uh, where is this? Riverside picking up a mod mat. And then who's the last one to read? David in Texas picking up a mod mat as well. Thank you, David. Okay. And I, did I get all the super chats? Uh, Catawalks, yes. Magnacraji, yes. Got all those. Okay, cool. So um, that's going to be it for the stream. Uh, thank you for creating the tater top meme. I'm not sure where it came from. I think it was Joe. I don't know why that happened. Uh, <laughs> but it did. So anyway, yeah, there's your throwback for the uh, sudden chat for the stream. I guess we could maybe, I, it's already set up, we could maybe install an OS and actually try and do something with this. Patrick and I, uh, I think Patrick, this is also true for you, but I don't have any experience working on this CPU or motherboard or era of CPUs at all. So nope. I didn't, never overclocked any of these. So I'd have to read some of the old OC guides. But uh, we if, might as well now. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if, if people want like a stream of it, I'm sure I can do some research and figure it out. I just need to read up on it because I haven't worked on anything. I think the first thing I overclocked was in the Halen processor. And I don't remember how to do that either. Uh, all right, well, yes, read stuff on strap, LC, perf level. Yeah, OK. I, yeah, tr certainly we could. Uh, oh, yeah, people asking about where we got it and stuff. It was mailed to us. Um, so it was sent to us in a, for a mail opening live stream. We got a lot of cool stuff in. We've tested some of it. We've done some revisits, stuff like that. This was part of that. So we've looked at SGI stuff, some other CPU things, uh, rebuilt and cleaned all this, and made for pretty cool just assembly part of the stream, and maybe we can do more with it later. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we've got other stuff I want to do work with, too, from the stuff people sent in, like that dual CPU system over there. Yeah. I'd like to do something with that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, we're going to close it there. I think I got everyone, yes, got all the Super Chats and everything. That GN Shill 10 code will be active until about midnight, so 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. And... Uh, Someone says that water that water that makes me want to pee. From the <laughs> Keegan's nodding. <laughs> That's because I keep leaning over it and uh, I can hear the audio. Alright. Oh yeah. And then um, Joe, bearded hardware. I'm gonna try and get him out here for next weekend. And we'll do fifty seven hundred XT and hopefully thirty nine hundred X at the same time, liquid nitrogen overclocking. So definitely check back for that. Alright. That's going to be it. I don't remember how to kill the stream because it crashed in the middle. There it is. Okay. We're going to end the stream now. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all next time. <laughs> it's working. This is why we left the stream running. This is how it's supposed to be. It's what happens when you don't have drivers. <laughs> There's the Easter egg for the end of the stream. Okay, I'll mute again. <laughs> Goodbye.